Hey! Howdy! Hey. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. It is Friday night, and if you are not watching Stream of Annihilation, you are here watching Saving Throw. And tonight, oh, it's, Friday it's Wild night. Cards. It's Wild Cards. And it's also what? Friday night. Break it down. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Don't stop breaking it. Keep on breaking it down. Keep breaking. And that's good. That's okay. good on the breaking. Thanks, thanks so much. Uh, hey, guys. My name is Jordan Caves Callerman. I am uh, the marshal of this show, as denoted by my cool badge. Um, that's me. That's all you need to know about me. I run this show. It's Wild Card, Savage World, Deadlands Reloaded. We're doing it. Uh, we finished our season last week. That was our season finale. But this week and next week will be a two-part uh, epilogue of sorts. Really more of a prologue because we are going back in time in Coldwater Creek to see uh, what happened round about the time Ghost Rock was discovered in the town. So with that in mind, let's go around and meet everybody. Uh, it's not everybody who was in our intro. It's almost everybody who was in our intro and some fun surprises. So we'll start, we'll start, um, we'll start here. We'll start here. Hi, I'm Megan Caves, and tonight I'm not Rosaline like you saw in the intro. I am instead Joanna Emmons. Mm -hmm. Where's your microphone? Well, <laughs> Can you guys hear me? <laughs> totally unmiked. There we go. Yeah. Uh, anyway, not Rosaline is what I just said. Joanna Emmons tonight, and Joanna, Joanna is, um, she's sort of the security guard, I suppose, if there w was one of this particular group, and she's an alcoholic, and she's kind of mean, but also, you know, probably really cool, and everybody really likes her, is what I'm thinking. Well. So. Yeah, everybody loves her. She's great. She's the life of the party. Well, so get ready for that. All right. That's, yeah, that sounds that sounds about good. Um, and then right next to Megan, we have our special guest for the evening. Whoa! Not hey, Jordan, Jordan Pridgen. Pridgen. Not Jordan Pridgen. No. 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 <laughs> but in fact, we have Nick Levy. Right. Hello, everyone out there in uh, Cameraland or board. wherever you are today. Uh, today I will be playing uh, Beecher Culp. Beecher Culp is the demolitions expert of this here little uh, gang of uh, miners. And uh, Beecher is a uh, little bit curious, a little bit eccentric, loves that dynamite, but is a little also wary of its uh, awesome potential, uh, so to speak. And uh, I am um, tied in with this group here with uh, someone who is across the table from me. Well, that's right. What? What? Mm. We're introducing I you was now. Oh, that's me being yeah. introduced. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was passing. I was like, is there something I should know? Pick I should it up. Say. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this exploration of drama and heartache. I'm Talene Guerra, and I will be your guide <laughs> in the form of Virginia Muse, a leader, a tragic figure. Is she? No, <laughs> I don't know yet. She potentially sure potentially, because yeah. in order to be in order to, to marry be her daughter. in order to be tragic, <laughs> oh, he must arise to heights, and my heights are as the leader of this group. Mm -hmm. Will I fall from these heights? Stay Wait. tuned to find out. I mean, you're a foreman, so that's sort of like saying like that a tragic figure could rise to like managing a retail store and then experience uh, you know an equally fall. an equally far fall, which yes. isn't really that far, is what I'm saying. You're a mining foreman. But, <laughs> but, unless, uh, John is all. here. <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> well done. Hi, my name's Dom Zook. I'm playing Alfred Jasperson, real name from the Old West, completely real. Yeah, not With, Alfred. No, Alfred. 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 Uh, and he's a, a kind of. A scrawny little uh, sciencey type. Um, he is the head geologist, chief geologist, chief geologist. Sure, only Pro geologist. Only <laughs> geologist uh, in this mining operation, and uh, he's uh, he's always been a little um, uh, because he's he's so smart. Hey, thank you, Polyhedron Answer. That's nice. awesome. We will get to uh, what you can do with that resub when I talk about donations here in a bit, but uh, we'll, be, we'll be right back with you, Polyhedron Answer. Um, back to Alfred. Yeah, so uh, anyway, he's, he's always had to sort of, um, uh, because he's so small, he gets a, a little bit uh, run over by people, so he, he depends on the kindness of his friends, and, and uh, over here, Megan's character has, has helped him out in the past. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see what he can uh, what he can do. So, so you guys are sort of touching on this, but let's talk about you each have uh, one Dungeon World esque bond with another character at the table. Uh, so, like you just mentioned, mm -hmm. Alfred. Uh, well, that's not that's not your bond, though, Alfred. What no. is What is your bond? I, my bond is that I uh, I respect Beecher's um, uh, position and his abilities with uh, with the dynamite and such. So, I, and you enjoy working with and him. And yeah, he's a good guy. He's my friend. He's my bud. Yeah, and then Beecher, what is your bond? Oh, you didn't. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, he doesn't. He's I, he's I'm a little. Yeah. 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 It's a nitro boom. Cool. Nitro boom. Oh no! Oh, nitro boom. Yeah. yeah. So we do this, and then we see. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, Real careful. What is your bond, Beecher? Uh, my beat. Uh, my <laughs> my, my Beecher bond. Beecher bond. What's your Beecher bond? Uh, uh, Beecher is um, related to Virginia, who is going to be my sister-in-law. She's Aww. my sister-in-law to be. Yeah. She is uh, marrying my brother Frederick. I'm marrying your brother Frederick. Yep. Yep. You're you're okay. you're Frederick's betrothed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is he a king? Uh, <laughs> no. <Nah. Whoa. laughs> I mean, maybe I don't know. What's his name? Nick said it like that. So. Yeah. Fred Frederick. Frederick. Apparently. Did you make this up, or is that on your sheet? Uh, it's right here on the sheet. Of course, I have a rich backstory. <laughs> he made it up. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this a name from the he old west? He extrapolated from the sheet. Yeah. yeah. Is Frederick this a is a German, a second generation German immigrant. What's his last name? Oh, Colt. is it same, same as you? Same as him. What was it? He's Colt. My brother. Colt. 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 C O U L P. Colt. That spells Colt. Uh, <laughs> Virginia. Use that in a sentence. What is your bond? Uh. <clears throat> Joanna is my good friend, so I let her get away with more than most. That's true. That's true. And then Joanna, what yes. is your bond? Uh, my bond is I grew up protecting Alfred. And just just while we're going around, while while we're round robining it, what is everyone's worst nightmare? Ooh. What is? We'll start with Joanna again, since we're already there. Okay, um, that everything needs to be nihilist. Yeah. Nihilism. <laughs> I'm really going home, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Beecher, Beecher, what is what is your worst nightmare? Perfect silence. Huh. Alfred. Am I freaking no, out? You are. <laughs> I'm on the edge. Uh, that the bullies will win. I don't yeah. like bullies. Yeah. Those guys, those guys are dicks. Yeah. And what is your worst nightmare, Virginia? Uh, that I'm not the good person other think other people think that I am, and I never will be. Tragic. See, that's that's that's, that's like tragic. retail management tragedy. Um, Fall from life. For those of you mysterious strangers watching in chat, you can do things to interact with the game, affect it via your donation. So one of those things is you can donate for a toast for 500 XP for the first five of them, and then for uh, an increasing amount of $5 after that. You can donate for a toast. We will all toast to whatever it is you want us to say, provided you are not a jerk about it. So keep it cool, and then we'll toast to what, whatever you want us to say. We're very, we're very spirited when we toast as well. You'll enjoy it. Uh, on top of that, you can also donate for a piece of cursed Spanish gold for any one of the players at the table, or for just the table in general. Now this polyhedromancer is what you can choose to give to one of these people here at the table or just give it to the table for your resub. But this will allow these guys to re-roll any uh, attribute or skill roll. However, once they use it, it then goes to me and I can use it for one of my characters to re-roll one of their things. That is the curse. You can also donate for a fistful of Cursed Spanish Gold. That is three pieces of Cursed Spanish Gold. Works the exact same way, only there's three of them. You can. Also, donate to heal one of these characters one wound, so should these guys ever get wounded, which is becoming increasingly less likely as, as this show goes on, but should they be wounded? Wounds are a big deal in Savage Worlds. Uh, you can only take three as a wild card. If you take a fourth one, you become incapacitated and potentially die. So uh, healing is a, big, is a big deal. And then finally, you can donate for a draw you can have any one of these guys at the table draw an official Savage Worlds adventure deck card. These cards give them sometimes wildly, uh, wildly huge amounts of control over the narrative. Sometimes very small things, sometimes little mechanical bumps, sometimes huge mechanical bumps. You never know. It's all the luck of the draw. Only one of these can be given to each one of these guys per game, though. So one draw per player per game. 
And then in addition to that, any cash donation made tonight for the game goes towards unlocking our reward tiers. There are four of them, and you can check those out in the donation sheet. Uh, we will unlock those as we hit those different donation levels. So check those out. A lot of them are pretty fun tonight, and uh, I, think, I think you'll enjoy them. So uh, having said that, I guess... What about all of the curse uh, from, last... from last time? What about it? Are we going Do we get to have that? No, that's no, no, no guys. Future. That's in the future. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. For, that's for other people. Hey. That's for not. That's for not you people. This isn't cool because Sci-Fi T-Rex is on vacation. Oh no! <laughs> well, <laughs> um, with that in mind, let's go ahead and saddle up. I and, can't ride. And you can't. No, none of you can ride. Actually, oh. in fact, because you are all uh, you all work for Harris Mining can Company. Can we ride in like mining carts? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Indiana Jones it's style. Be important. <laughs> Uh, Harris Mining is the uh, the large the largest mining company in Coldwater Creek. Uh, they were also the first, um, and and that's where you guys are. This is taking place about uh, a little over a year before the events of our official Wild Cards game. Wow. So uh, Coldwater Creek is uh, a little bit of an up and coming mining town, but it's still very small, <laughs> mostly silver. Uh, one or two veins of gold have been discovered around the area, but not a whole lot to, not enough to cause any sort of like stampede of people to town. But Harris has a good feeling about this place, and he wants to keep, keep mining, keep digging, and see if he can't find that gold mother load that he thinks is here, or, fingers crossed, maybe even some ghost rock. So that's where you guys come in. But first, is it Mr. Harris or is it is uh, Mr. Harris. Harris? Okay, Carlton Harris. First, let's draw some fate chips. Right, so yeah, I'm still Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Harris is his dad. <laughs> uh, Dom, you are you have no hindrances or edges that affect no, fate chips, so you just person. get three. You just get three. So you got ooh, ooh. a blue, ooh. a white. You got the variety pack. Oh, yeah. So a white Patriotic. one is a normal uh, fate chip. You can spend this at any time to reroll a trait or skill roll, but not damage. Jeez. You can also use a fate chip to try and soak wounds if you get them to uh, prevent damage on yourself. Uh, and then you can spend a fate chip at any point to automatically unshake yourself in combat. A red fate chip works just like a white fate chip, except you can also add a d6 to any roll. However, if you do that with a red fate chip, the fate chip goes to me, much like Curse Vanished Gold. A blue fate chip can be used like a white fate chip or like a red fate chip, but if you use it to add a d6 to any roll, it does not go to me. You get to use it just cause, cause you're awesome. So those are the best ones. Most versatile. All right, Virginia. You get three fate chips as well. One, two, three. All right. All right. You got two whites and a red? I got two whites and a red. All right. Joanna, you get three fate chips. Okay. Three. Three. Two whites and a red. And it's you, kind of a Beecher, Beecher. So. you are lucky. Yep. So you get four fate chips. All is good when you work with dynamite, professional yep. life. Yeah. That's why you're still alive, Beecher. <laughs> you're lucky. Three Not whites and a red. as lucky as that could have been. Okay. All right. Now, I get a fate chip for each one of you guys here in the game. So I get... I'm small, though. So four. Nope. Half a, half half a fate, fate chip. chip. Yeah. Do you mind if I cut your, your uh, poker chips in half? Is that okay? Uh, he that doesn't okay? mind because they're not his. They're mine. They're yours? Yeah. Do you mind if I cut your poker chips in half? No, they're not mine. They're my roommates. So sure. <laughs> Whose poker <laughs> chips are these? I got, ooh, I got two blues, a red, and a white. Unbelievable. Uh, and a red is essentially a blue for me because there's nobody for this to go through after I. This is does. some crap. It doesn't, though. It, go doesn't. To the table. it doesn't. Yeah, though. It doesn't, though. It should, though. It doesn't. It should. Yeah, but it doesn't, though. Write your, uh, write your congressman. <laughs> Polyhedromancer. Would yeah. like their piece of cursed Spanish gold to go to Tallinn. Oh, well, thank you very much, Polly Hedgeman. And thank you for your subscription. We appreciate mm -hmm. that. Yeah, very uh, nice. So. And guys, we have a we have a couple toasts. So why doesn't everyone raise their shot glass? We got our first toast with our shot. This is from Bandana Man ninety five. Bandana Man. Bandana Man's here. Bandana hey. Man ninety five is here. Bandana Man ninety five. A sad toast to the death of Revlo. A, a sad, sad toast, toast to, to the, the death, death of, of Revlo. Revlo. Set him up. Knock him down. Poor Revlo. Mm. Shot glasses. Oh. Can I, real quick, <laughs> guys, but not too far. Guys, <laughs> chat, real quick. While while we're talking about Revlo, uh, Ugh, there's a potential. I can. Uh, it was not. D20 possibly. robot has been given the functionality to basically take all of the Revlo points and add it to. Uh, essentially, it would. Here's the here's the thing. It would replace everyone's points, everyone's points with whatever was on Revlo. What about my points? It would replace it with whatever was on Revlo. Everyone's points, you said. Everyone's points. I don't exactly know what that means. 
If it means that if you didn't have points on Revlo, it means that any points you had on D20 Robot would go away or what? But basically, it does replace points. So let Brian know in chat if you're cool with that, and we'll kind of you know get a get a thing, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But if you guys are cool with it, then I will transfer the points over from Revlo, and we'll go from there. Uh, but that's a that's a whole other thing. We can talk about it later. Okay. Because for now, we've got more toasts. Woo! -hoo. Wee Raise your glass, guys. This one is from the Bard 1971. The Bard 1971 would like us to toast. Farewell, my friends. May we meet again in the great beyond. Oh my God. Farewell, Farewell my, my friends. friends. May, May we, we meet, meet again, again in the great, great beyond. beyond. Set them up. It sounds Knock them like down. Uh, people are foreseeing. Uh... I think it's just, we're just talking about Revlo. We're just sad about Revlo. Oh, good. Not too far down, guys. Not too far down. Because Bastion, yeah. Bastion Phils, Bastion Phils would like us to toast. Oh wait, I'll wait. Because Nick, Nick has a fancy flask and shot glass set up to that. Uh, you're gonna do whiskey for each of these? Because I am. Well, it's all right on whiskey, and that's not gonna be too much longer. Nick. Keep yeah. the toast coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> to Batman Rockefeller forever. Oh, yeah. To, to Batman, Batman Rockefeller forever. Set him up. Knock him down. What is that a reference Yeah, what is that a reference to? Mm. Batman forever? His, his cap. It's a cap. Mm. Yeah. One more, guys. One more. We will remember Batman Rockefeller forever. This one. This one. <coughs> milk, milk was a bad choice. Um, <laughs> Firewolf411 has activated the toast. To kilt wearing cowboys. <laughs> to kilt wearing cowboys. Set them up. Knock them down. I don't want to shatter everyone's shot glasses. Mm. It's a rough mix. Big Woo. giant bottles Mama, of shot glasses. Don't let your oh, babies man. grow up to be kilt wearing cowboys. <laughs> Fire, Firewolf, just so you know, this whiskey does date back from the night of the wearing of the kilt. And uh, it's been sitting in my car ever since. Ooh. And it has not been improved by that process. <laughs> Has it been is further a, fermented by the no, car process? No, it's disgusting. Is that a Sun Growler whiskey? This is not a Sun Growler whiskey. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, I, I would be happy to be drinking that. Yeah, yeah. I, have an, I don't want to ask this question. Okay, things well, being in your car reminded me of things that I shouldn't mention. Okay. Well, guys. Welcome to Live Big Bookie. <laughs> Christian Linke would like to get a piece of Curse Spanish Gold for Dom. Oh, hey! Oh, thank hey. you. Hey. It's because I'm small. For it... Alfred Jasperson. And guys, raise your glasses. This is the last XP toast. The next toast will be $5, and then after that, 10 and 15 and so on. This is Christian Linke as well. To all the good times and new beginnings. Wait. <laughs> to all the good, good times and new beginnings. Set them up. Knock them down. Great timing. Great timing. It's really hard to uh, take a shot of Coke. Yeah, by the way, it's very uh, it's very carbonated. Yeah, it's difficult. That's you're gonna see that again, Dom. You're gonna see that again before the end of this. I session. doubt it. Almost. I doubt you're it. You're definitely gonna taste it. I'm gonna get my phone out. <laughs> get your phones ready. Wait, hold on. We have one more donation coming in. Hold on. This just in. Christian Linke has also bought a piece of cursed Spanish gold. For Megan, for Joanna Aww. Evans over there. Nice. No, so so you have one and you have one and you have one, but Nick, Nick, you're our guest. Nick, what the That's heck? Right. You don't have one. <laughs> I know, but garbage. you do have four fate chips. I do. So I mean, that counts for something yep. too. You're I'm lucky. I don't get cursed. Oh. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's dive in here. Let's do it. We are uh, we're outside the town of Coldwater Creek, much smaller uh, than than we know it from modern times. Uh, this is before a lot of it was burned to the ground. Uh, it's the same size. So it's, yeah, yeah, so it's the same size. It's around the same size. Spoiler alert. Less on fire. And um, we're, we're in the mountains to the north. And there is a, what looks like a small cave with a small camp outside the front of it. And it's a peaceful summer day. Very nice. Bird flies by, little butterfly, just kind of alights gently on a flower outside of it. <laughs> flies away. Nope. And then a cloud of dust comes shooting out of the cave, along with four individuals who come running out, holding their mouths and, and just <coughs> trying to see through the dust. <coughs> <coughs> that is you for. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try that one more time because that was queued up wrong. Hold on, okay. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Beecher, what in the hell? You know, some of this old dynamite gets a little mite sweaty. Went off a little bit early. I'm sorry. 
He almost killed all of us. There are two two other mine workers outside. Like we we were worried you weren't gonna get out in time. We, that was cutting it pretty close there, Beecher. Well, me and my crew ain't ain't had a problem yet. Well, I I guess that's true. E everything all right in there, Virginia? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. First of all, my crew was fine. Uh, second of all, I got a handle on this. Don't you worry. Of course, of course Beecher, you do, Virginia. Of course you do. Yes, let's we have can. a talk, privately. It's about Frederick? No, it is not, sir. <laughs> it is not about Frederick. It is about you and your future in this group if you continue to screw things up that way. Yes, ma'am. I want to be charismatically scolding of you right now. Can I roll for some kind of charisma? <laughs> you want to be? You want to make a roll for charismatic scolding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's call that a persuasion roll, which you can't ordinarily use against another PC, but we'll see if you... Intimidation? We'll see if you end up... Well, she's trying to do it charismatically. Oh, that's true. I want, like, I want to put an arm around you and be like, Beecher, you know I care about you and all these other folk, and I'm very charismatic, and I have a lot to say. Are there... Okay, I move around to the other side and put my other arm around it. Beecher. Oh, yeah? You know I care about you and everyone else on this crew. Oh, yeah, all right. But... I need you, to, I need you, I need you to be on point. I need you to be in this game. It is fifth and down. We are behind the battle lines. These what? are all Civil War what? references. Uh, you rolled a five. five. Yes. Um, so plus you, two for plus two for your charisma. Oh, yeah, that's it. You feel um, somewhat chastened, Beecher, but. Um, but also you also know that she she cares about you. Yeah. This is coming from a place of love. All right. This is coming from a place of love. For, Virginia, Virginia, look, look. I know. I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm so caught up about this wedding. I mean, we're trying to order all them flowers that you wanted back from back east. I'm trying to make sure they're going to get I here on time. I have very and specific it's just been like flower this giant desires. Thing, like, You've got this dress, and you've got this plan, and oh, we're just, I do. me and Frederick are just trying to work all the way we can on making this, this, uh, are this, you saying, this whole thing work. Are you saying so, my nuptials distracted you, sir? A if bit, not, if a it's, bit. I'm, if it's I'm gonna be a sorry. problem, I, I will like not get married. I don't like to say that out loud to everybody between you, me, and God in the sky, but, but yeah, your nuptials are getting to be a little bit of an issue. Alfred, I'll be, I'll be glad when this damn wedding's done with. What? Stop arguing so much. Oh like yeah. <laughs> I think it's not probably a wise idea to have the person handling the dynamite to be stressed a little bit. Um, I, also, I will cancel this wedding right now if it's in, well, if it's interfering with you, Beecher. What? I'll cancel it right no, now. No, no, no. Fred, Frederick would be heartbroken. You can't be doing that. Virginia. I'll I, buckle down. I'll buckle down. Far, far be it from the two of us to, to tell, tell you how to run things, but maybe this isn't the best time for this conversation. Um, what... Did, did there end up being uh, another passage back there, like like uh, Alfred Alfred thought there'd be? Did you get a chance to, to see? Well, or? We, we had just run out of the explosion. We need to go in there and check to see if there's some kind of other passage we was looking for. I'm, well, cert I'm certain there's something back there. The, the, the shafts just lead right to it. Well, you, sh and you sure was in there tapping with your hammer for a long time the other day, mm -hmm. Alfred. So, uh, real quick, Christian Linke has got a <laughs> piece of cursed Spanish gold for Nick. Thank you, Christian Linky. I appreciate it. Fair and equitable. Or there or wherever I am. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, uh, I'm, uh, do you do you want us to to come in too, just to to check it out, make sure everything's no, okay? No, I want to be cautious about this. Okay. On account of that's one of your hindrances. On account of it's one of my hindrances. Uh, here's how I'm going to be cautious. Let's take. Uh, I think the real issue Al is that she Alfred. wants to make sure that she sees uh, that strike first, if, if that passage is there, like Alfred said. Again, I do want to see that first. Tie me to a piece of rope. Y'all stay out here. I will venture down into the passage. If the rope goes taut, you pull me back. Oh, come on now, Virginia. I can at least go with you. It's true. You're very strong. What? You can leave me behind. What? If, what? If, what? If okay. We clean it entirely. And we need to clear that. Just I'm a loyal bit more. to all of you. I'm all. just saying, Virginia. I know how to find the color. So you know. Um, that's true. I, you're not exactly trained like I am for it. I don't want to step on toes here, but. I'm trying to lead you with caution and loyalty. Billy, Guillermo, can but, you guys go okay. ahead and, and just man the rope? And if it goes taut, just start pulling back. Here's a rope. Or, or if you start hearing any shouts or yelling. <laughs> Billy and Guillermo seem a little confused. Um, <laughs> all four of us is tied to this rope. We're all all <laughs> of you are going to be tied right. to the same rope? My yeah. name's George and Fred, so I don't <laughs> know who he's talking to. We're the Weasleys. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
No, they're Billy and Guillermo. That, that makes yeah. sense to me. Um, I don't know that the two of us could rightly uh, grab all, all, all four of y'all right, with a rope. Important modification then. Let us tie one end of this rope to something nice and sturdy, maybe a horse. And if the rope goes hot, you black, you go, go horse, go. And then the horse will pull us well, out. Vir Virginia, I'm, I'm very cautious you in didn't, case there's a pit. You didn't tell us to bring a horse. We just got the work mule. The work mule it is. All okay. right, I'll do the work. Night, Night, Steve. Steve. Night Steve, thank, thank you. you for the donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I believe, I believe at this point we have unlocked the first reward tier, which we can just, as, as Guillermo and Billy go and grab the work mule, we can talk about this one. This one is called Minor Humor. So <laughs> I would like everyone to right now get it all out of your system. No. Any minor jokes or puns or bad cave or minor related things, say it now, because if you say it later, it's gonna cost you a fate chip. What? And if you don't have any fate chips left, it's gonna cost you a piece of Mighty cursed Spanish gold. I'm not soaking anything. I'm not so. I know me. I'm not soaking anything. I'm not re-rolling anything. I'm just if saying. If you want me to re-roll, give me cursed Spanish gold, because these are going when stuff pops out of my mouth that I cannot control. Get them all out of the way now. That's what I'm saying. Okay, just, hey, not, hey. just air it out. Possible. Just air it out. Just kind of like get all. Anyone have any minor puns or jokes? Uh, jokes about minors or I'm, puns? That, puns are not usually my jam. They might occur so, to you later on. Yeah, so, so think about what like, might occur to you. Normally you normally have say it major now. puns. Is that? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's all you get. <laughs> you, you only get one. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm just saying he can't make that joke again later on. Not for free. Hmm. I don't. Have all right, I'll give you the stupid obvious one. Do I'm it. really concerned that we're letting all these little kids play with dynamite. Because they're, they're minors. Oh, they're minors. Minors. Yeah. minors playing with they're dynamite. Mm -hmm. Got it. I, 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 this is the best I can do right now. Is like, uh, let's get in. Let's dig into these problems. That's terrible. No, I'm no. not good at this. Yeah, but that one would cost you later on. So yeah, I'm yeah. gonna say it now. Okay. Yeah. Anything to do with digging in? I need another really pump, Like got. I need a hole in the ground. There's nothing there. Like without. We need context, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sure, no, I know. This is a terrible reward. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great reward. Watch us struggle on film. Um, no, I love else? it. Have anyone they want to they wanna get out of the... Theoretically. Theoretically. But the pressure to come up with minor... There's no pressure well, to come up with I, it right I, now. I feel like this if is... only I could strike it rich in puns, bam! Uh, That's the best well, I can do. This is less pressure to come up with it now and more a warning to not do it later. One thing we can't talk about are our very typical hindrances, the minor ones. We can't talk about uh, no. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was meta. That was a game <laughs> mechanic. Oh, bad oh, Nana Man. Bad Nana. Bad Nana. You're almost there. Bad Nana so Man 95. Close. Banana Dan. So close. Banana Dan's bandana. Banana. Dan. 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 Does anyone else have any last minute minor things that they want? I have one. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Oh, okay. We have, go Brian go has go one. Oh, Nick first. Okay, they're being very polite. I just want to say that I'm a little bit concerned about the company that we're all working for, and I just want to make sure that no one's pushing on anyone because I don't want to put the harass in harassment. Because it's the Harris Mining, Harris Harris Mining, Mining Company, Company is the name of the, yeah. and we are not yeah. very yeah. much about not doing okay. that. Okay, okay, is your better? We <laughs> only play one kind of music in the mines, coal train. Okay, yeah, no, these, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm really glad these are all happening yeah. now. Yeah. These need to be happening now, that was good. I don't know, this is a mine, I think I want some more, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, crossing the wait. streams a little bit. You can't. You can't. You didn't say they had to be That's referential true. topical. That's true. <laughs> you can't pick your moments. Pick. I'm not good at this. Pick pickaxes. Yeah. We're getting them out. And that. <laughs> okay. Are, I'm done. Wait. I was never gonna do them wait. anyway. Okay. This was a little obscure. But <laughs> no. uh, are you guys all the bag seeds? Because I can then be Nick Cave. That was totally. Sorry. Deep cut. <sighs> I don't get that. I don't know. Nick Cave in the band. It's, it's, it's a band. It's oh, okay. A singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I had not heard of them I before now. It was pretty. Obscure. It was a deep cut. It's a deep cut. Anyone? Else? Anyone? Everyone? I good think three, Megan Smith's just sitting on like twenty of them right now. She's yeah. just yeah. Just fighting her tongue. All right, guys. From this point forward, any any bad mining related puns, or. Mining adjacent jokes and puns just will cost you a <laughs> yeah, like, or a piece of cursed Spanish gold. Now wait, wait. <coughs> if I use a red Benny to tell a bad pun, does that mean that you have to tell a bad pun? You too? don't use it to tell you a bad pun. Like I will randomly jar. take one. It's a swear. You're paying. It's a swear jar. Oh, it's a pun okay. jar. A okay. mind jar. Okay. 
Um, and I think we've also unlocked the second tier at this point. Oh. Is, that, is that correct? 30 and 45? All right. And uh, Brian, what is the name Ooh. of the second tier? It is Whiskey No Es Bueno. <laughs> Uh, it's called Nick Gets Ice. You got ice, bro! Oh! That would be wonderful, except... Uh-oh. Wait. <laughs> oh, guys, he's gonna block me. Wait. Oh, no, but wait, Nick. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't go, it doesn't keep going. Oh, yeah, it Oh, does. does it? Oh, it okay. Does. Oh, God. Well, then, in that case... No, no. Oh, God. You actually put a thing to Nick's get ice? Yeah. Wow. It's a seventy-five dollar level. Dick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on though, Nick. Hold on just a second there, Nick. Wow. All right. I'm calling Uber. Someone's paying for Uber for me. Holy crap. Hold on, guys. Real quick oh before God. we jump into it, this Nick has to drink five. <laughs> I'm just gonna explain. This is horrifying. Like, no, you don't. You don't have to. <laughs> Like, Down there are rules. I, but there are rules. As the executive producer of uh, Saving Throw. Okay, you don't have to do it all right now. <laughs> all right. Just, you just have Throughout to do the course of the night. one right now, <laughs> and then the rest will spread out throughout the course of the night. Can I have a sip of one? Uh, no, these are, these are for me. But yeah. actually, these are mine. <laughs> so thank you guys. I want to taste it. Thank you guys for unlocking that. that. And for basically ensuring. Sons of bitches, I love you all. Basically <laughs> ensuring that somewhere down the road, I get destroyed. Thanks, guys. Thank you for that. Hold on. All right. I'm, I'm letting everyone in the chat know. This is an ice that dates back from November of 2016. It has been sitting in the back of my car, warming and cooling, warming and cooling, warming and cooling, which I've already found out from that whiskey is a wonderful thing to do to an alcoholic beverage. Since it's probably the worst, it's also the first. It's just botulism. Woo! <laughs> Bros, 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 Thank you for the donation, Bandana Man. That was awful. Thank you. Nick, you're the best of sports. And that's why we put your name in the reward tiers. All of them. All right. All of them. So all of that having been said. I'm hit with the puns. I'm getting boozed up. What else is happening now? All right. Attaboy. So, uh, Billy and Guillermo have tied the rope to one end of the work mule. They're so good. What's the mule's name? The mule's name? Yep. Dave. Damn. So, any relation Dave. to? In relation to Canary? No. Oh. Yeah, all, all mules are related. What? <laughs> There's a mule. lot of different mules around. Mules. Hashtag mule list. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Bandana Man has got a piece of cursed Spanish gold for the table. Thank Ooh, you, thank sir. You. Right there. And has activated a toast, so oh. everyone raise your glasses. <laughs> R.I.P. Nick's liver. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Nick, are you going to do another? All right. R.I.P. Nick's, Nick's liver. liver. Set them up, knock them down. I'm more worried about Nick's blood, blood alcohol, sugar, blood sugar level. <laughs> Here's Nick's secret. He doesn't have a liver. Oh. <laughs> oh. He gave his away. Here's my secret. I'm always liver. <laughs> Wasn't a mining pile. It wasn't. Yeah. No, no, totally love it. Oh, that's true. All right, thank you guys for those donations. So they have it tied to the mule. All right, now where are we tying the other end of this? First right. is me, because I will be leading my man slash woman into this cave heroically at the front, so that if something goes wrong, it happens to me first. Hey, Virginia, we're very familiar with your style of leadership. You don't have to keep reminding all Second. of us all the time. Second is Joanna, because she's strong and she'll pull me back when I fall into inevitable despair. Yep. You planning on doing that? Third, <laughs> my demolitions man, uh, so he can blow stuff up. Fourth, my nerd. Christian. You want... Holy Virginia, Christian. thank you. Christian, thank you for the donation. You want Alfred to be the, the anchor? <laughs> You're right, that's a terrible idea. Alfred and then Beecher. Uh, Beecher, I'm putting you at the back because I trust you. But Almost boss, as much as I trust Joanna. Boss, that's... What is happening? That's a compliment. You're, you're always so dramatic yeah. about these things. <laughs> I, I, you know, I can set up a pulley system that would uh, essentially be much stronger than, than any of us. So, Have uh, you ever seen his pulley systems? They're real good. I have not. I mean, we I have I was going to say no to him, but Joanna, if you vouch for this pulley system, they're the best pulley systems I, I've ever seen. I am the chief geologist and engineer of the Harris Mining And company. the only one. <laughs> I, so. I just, yeah, I'm the only one. Two. All right, <laughs> you get yourself a pulley system together, mm -hmm. and then let's tie ourselves to one rope tied to a pulley tied to a mule. I, I did okay. 
He All does right. do pretty good pulley systems. Do it. Do yourself do yourself proud. All right, so while Alfred prepares Alfred. to rig up a pulley system, Nightsteed has activated a drowl from Ooh. Megan. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. So Dang. drowl, Joanna. Yeah. Okay. Draw one of them cards. Draw, do it. Draw a good one. Good one. Not that one. Not that one. No, 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 no. Okay. That's too late. <laughs> Epiphany. Beginner's luck. Something you never understood before suddenly clicks. You gain a d6 in any skill you previously did not have for the remainder of the game session. That's good. Nice. That is nice. Pretty good. That's, yeah. a good. that's a good card. You want to have that like, Thank right you, right Steve. Right. Epiphany, I am uh, really good at writing <laughs> in mine cards. <laughs> Knowledge police. <laughs> um, all right, so you're going to try and rig up a rudimentary uh, pulley system. Oh, DJ regular. DJ regular. Oh, Thank you for the donation. You guys are killing Brian. I am. Died. Brian's dead. Yeah, He's Brian's Brian dead. Dead. But thank you so much. Brian Dunn died. Uh, Very much appreciated. Quick, tie Brian to a rope. Um, no, that's not <laughs> how you save people. No, no, no. Guys. We're gonna, we're gonna use the body like counterweight in that pulley system. Mm. There you go. Yep. All right, so you are MacGyvering uh, a pulley system? Is that what you're trying to do? Wait, yeah, you unless propose we have, a pulley system and you can't do a pulley system? Unless we actually have a, like a pulley. I, I imagine as a mining operation, we might have had some like pulley to like bring up things. You, you definitely have like Here. a like a, uh, <laughs> a hoisting ding, pulley. Ding, if you're getting ding, a diver. Ding, ding. I have a gum wrapper. Ding, 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 anyone, anyone have a paper ding, clip? Ding, ding, we need a paper clip. Ding, ding, DJ Regular ding, has donated ding, for a fistful of cursed Spanish gold for the table. Thank you, Ooh, sir. Thank you, DJ Regular. And Christian Limke has further activated a draw for Nick. Nick. Nick, sir. Nick, you may drow. Drow. Nick, not that one. Uh, drow. No, that one's good. Drow. That one's good. You're going to like it. Drist Orton. <laughs> <laughs> How deep are we it's going weird. in this, <laughs> this mine? Uh, contact. Reggie, you old scoundrel, how have you been? Your hero sees an old friend or acquaintance who mm -hmm. might help in his current quest somehow. Of course, you may also ask for a return favor. It's going to be Guillermo. Interesting, interesting. All right. Guillermo. Gear, yeah. Guillermo's real demanding. We're tight. Um, all right, so you're gonna try and use the like the hoisting pulley and try and rig it up in a way to like kind of keep all of you guys. Yeah. Make a knowledge what? engineering roll for me. Perfect. What, what is the purpose of this pulley? That's a seven. seven. Fancy. That's a that's a good enough, I'd say, with your with your MacGyvering skills and a and a you know already present pulley. Hmm. I think you can you can set that up. Okay. So uh, and this is to uh, connect it where you want this connected. Um, so it'll be like over the hole, right? So uh, basically, well, there's no hole yet that you guys oh, you don't know if there's a hole there's or no not. Hole, you haven't been in the cave. So I, I guess sort of room. sort of at the uh, the edge of the cave or whatever, or, okay, or it's sort of at where we've last had uh, had dug into. So this way, Guillermo and Bill can support the weight of you guys because yeah. Dave is not <laughs> trustworthy. Dave no. is not a trustworthy mule. No. Okay. Dave Dave has betrayed you all on multiple occasions in the past. That ordinary son of a mule. He's a shifty mule. Mm. Especially mule. when there's sticks around. What? Yeah, yeah. You know mules, mules and, and sticks. sticks. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right, this feels this, fact. This feels pretty solid. You know, it's one of Alfred's pulleys, so uh, they are pretty great. Yeah, I think we could probably we could probably man this. Test from, it from this end. Everybody, Wait. grab onto each other, and these two are gonna hobble us up. Just. Two inches off the ground. You want us to test the? Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. So Everyone hug. Here Group we hug. go, Guillermo. Group hug. And heave. Oh, oh. I don't like the feeling. You guys get very painfully hoisted yeah. by the waist, it's like up off the ground together. a little I'm bit. Damn it, that hurt. Let us down. All right, sorry, Joanna. Oh. Nope. That Boss worked. told us to do it. Uh, everyone, make that a notice hurt. roll for me. And this is a sight-based notice roll feature. Thank you. Uh, now, I also want to let you know that uh, Beecher is very, very curious, and he doesn't like being at the end of the line, so he is not going to tie himself to the rope so that he can kind of peer around and, you know, push and do all that sort of stuff. Okay. So he's holding on to the rope with one hand, but he's not tied in. Okay. Dang it. Beecher. Three. So what did everyone roll? Two. So you got a three, you got a two? I got a five because I'm alert. You are alert. I also got a five. You both got I'm a not five. Alert. So, uh... Virginia is, is checking the uh, integrity of all of the knots and everything, and uh, Beecher is busy kind of trying to surreptitiously, surreptitiously untie his knot, but still make it seem like maybe he's tied in there. You two notice uh, a little bit of uh, activity in the bushes above the, the cave mouth up on the, uh, on the side of the ridge. Hey, hey, are we expecting anybody? I don't think so. Do we have anybody else coming? No. Everyone on the roster is here right now. That a fact. 
And you see uh, a very solidly built, kind of wild-haired man oh, no. come out uh, from, from the bushes and just sort of like plop down on, on the edge looking down on you guys and fanning out from either side of him come five men with uh, very large guns just pointed down uh, at your group. So uh, this here's the whole, the whole shebang of it, huh? This is everybody? I kind of no slightly behind or, Joanna. <laughs> or, uh, or whatnot. Now that is mighty reassuring to hear. Do I recognize any of these people? Um, you might have seen uh, one or two of these uh, men with guns in, in passing before, um, but nobody that stands out immediately to you. Um, however, everyone make a common knowledge roll for me. Uh, so this would just smarts. be your smarts roll. Um, yeah, nobody would have a bonus or negative to this. Joanna, you are drunk. Yeah, well. <laughs> Good. Six. You got a six. That Is that an ace? Aces? So when it aces, you roll it again and add that up. So a nine. nine. That's go. an ace as well. Ten. ten. So we got a ten, a nine, a three, a three, six, and a six. <laughs> All right. So everyone but Joanna makes an educated guess that this is that Colt Holbrook guy who has been uh, bringing men, a bunch of rough re ruffians around town and starting up trouble on the outskirts. There's been uh, some reports of some increased bandit activity, and this fella seems to be the guy who's responsible. You really for think it. this is all we've got? We come prepared. Do you? Yeah. So prepared that when you're having just a completely candid conversation amongst yourselves, you keep up the pretense so as to avoid tipping off anyone who might happen to be eavesdropping? Now that is prepared. Oh. Boys, I am duly impressed by their forethinking. Well, when there's jackasses like you around, we have to be that prepared, don't oh, we? Oh, you're going to want to watch that, Missy. Listen, oh, listen. What? Uh, sir, uh, you appear to be... Uh, pursuing some type of criminal activity that you shouldn't be doing here. Do oh, I? I oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to give that impression. I, I apologize. Hold on. How about now? We ain't got nothing. worse. It is a little better. We're just... <laughs> <laughs> Look, the six of us are uh, uh, just finding a new section of this mine here, so why don't y'all just God. clear out? The yeah, other six God. are in the mine. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll what? just... What? We'll just wait here. You go ahead and call out to them and let them know Look, to come out whenever I, is convenient. I, I, I would like to try and persuade him that we got nothing worth stealing. Okay, sure. You're going to be at a minus six for this because he minus. just shouted out that uh, <laughs> you guys are pursuing a mine. But go for it. I know. <laughs> Heaven help me. Well, a four. Okay. Minus six? Minus six. Okay. I'll, I do have to say, as I get drinkier, the big mouth's going to be a lot easier. <laughs> Um, yeah. Real quick, real quick, Bandana Man has donated for a pack a fistful of cursed Spanish gold for the table, Ooh. Ooh. and Thank also, and also a draw for Virginia. Ooh. So draw there, Virginia. Leaves me a card that says "Shut everyone up and make this bandit go away." No, it's a real is specific it? card. It is in there. <laughs> please shut up. <laughs> it says, "Shut up, please." A character with an arcane background may activate a damage-causing power they could not normally use. Liberto, thank, thank you for, for the follow. follow. Uh, let's go ahead and have you redraw for that one, since none of you have an arcane background. Thank you. Mm -mm. We'll give you. A, we'll I give you a, that. a redo on account was, of this is just a two shot. That was going to be a useless card. Or All I needed was a little shut eye. Play when a character has at least a half hour undeserved downtime to restore a character as if she's had a full night's rest. This restores all power points and removes all fatigue. Well, all right. Still not great, but okay. But not the worst. No, nope. could be it's, helpful. Uh, it's slightly applicable. Yeah, so I mean, from the looks of things, I'd have to, I'd have to say that it looks like uh, y'all are all working for uh, that Harris mining interest roundabouts. Sir, town. we are. What do you want? We'll give it to you. Uh, just don't hurt any of my people. Glad to hear that. What I would like is uh, for you all to throw down any weapons that you may be carrying on you. And to just go ahead and scoot on there back to town, I think we're going to go ahead and take over this here mine. I'm, I'm feeling a little, boys, I think I'm feeling an itch to go into the mining business. I think I might, I think I might be, uh, this here feels like a good claim. It's got a good feel to it. A lot of space for a man to stretch his limbs. Yeah, I think, I think it, this here will be a good mine for it, me. It's a mine. You ain't going to have a lot of room to stretch your limbs. That's all point. Now I'm talking about the outside area here, son, but I like well, it. Well, that's not a mine. Right. So if you want the outside area, that's fine. But the mine, I like him. What do you do here? 
Demolitions? Of course you do. Of course you do. All right. Well, but yeah, I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt a lady. Are y'all scared of us? Is that why we have to leave before you come down? You don't think you can take us? Not yet. They must be scared. I don't think they're going to come down and take this. You done found us out. Yeah. I really don't understand why they're itching to do a whole bunch of heavy labor work. Do, do you I'm have... real confused about this whole thing. I'm real confused about why y'all are still here. Well, you... what have you done about it? Oh, well, God. we got a bunch of guns trained on you. I guess you got a good point. She does have a good point there, folks. I could just have... Boys, should we show her what it is we're willing to do about it? Wait, wait. Do you have any mine experience? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I just... I don't know if you haven't had any... It's a dangerous occupation All right. if you don't know how okay, to, like, listen. look for things. Listen, listen. I can see I'm going to have to just be I, real I straightforward with you guys. Quick color. question. Quick question. He's right. I had to get my certificate of demolitions from Tennessee Tech. Oh my quick question. Quick question. Yeah. How close are we to the opening of the cave? How close are you to the opening like, of the cave? Because, like, wasn't he uh, rigging up a pulley? Can yeah. we run into the cave? We're right at the entrance, right? It, I mean, you guys can run into the cave. Yes. Run into the cave, everybody! Run into the cave! Are you you shout that out? I whisper it. Right Aren't we cave. all tied together? <laughs> <laughs> I will start running into the cave. You're and gonna start me. running into the cave. All right, they're gonna shoot Look you. Look at your face. Are you? Like it's a are, are, are you whispering, everyone, to run to the cave? <laughs> I'm doing everyone this. This is what I'm doing. Run into the cave! <laughs> run into the cave! Okay, and you're running. Oh God. I. I'm, yes. I'm not. See, I'm not seeing this. Okay. But I'm also tiny, so I you guys are probably this. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. <They're>, uh... <laughs> but Guillermo and Billy are right behind me. <laughs> yeah. Guillermo and Billy are all I need. All right. So they hear you say that, and they uh, start running for the cave, and you're right behind him. Uh, and and Holbrook just raises one hand, and his half of his group just take aim at Guillermo and Billy and no, just fire off a bunch of shots. don't shoot Guillermo and Billy! Because they already had guns trained on you. Not Guillermo And Billy. drop them both. They are both just down. Now, Son now, of a now hold on! Billy. I'd wait. I'd wait. Now, everyone, I can see I'm going to have to be real straightforward with y'all since you don't take much to uh, subtext and implication. What I am doing here is I am taking over this mine because your boss is the richest man in these parts, and he will either waste a whole bunch of manpower trying to take it back by force, or he will pay me to just leave it behind. Either way, I come out ahead, and he comes out a bit behind. So you go ahead and take this stuff back to your boss, and don't nobody else come up with any bright ideas about where to run, you know, unless it's in that direction, being away, just to clarify for all of you down there. Virginia, maybe he's right. Maybe we can just head this way, and you guys can just have this stupid mine. There ain't nothing in it anyway. It's dangerous, though. It's it's very dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, maybe they'll fall been... down a damn hole. Get Which is walking. why we're all tied together. Let's go. And take this message back to your boss. You tell him Cole Holbrook has his mine, and if he wants to see it return, he can take it or he can pay for it. Uh, Cody, what was his name? Uh, whatever, I don't care. Let's go. We just all shuffle, like, because we're all tied together. And just <laughs> yes. Except for Beecher. Are yeah. you pretending to still be tied to them? <laughs> yeah, I've got, like, I'm holding the rope. Oh, me in. too. I'm also tied to everyone. Um, and you guys start Do walking we, away. Are there, like, woods or something around that we can go into? Like, get out of sight, basically? Yeah, yeah. You guys can can uh, keep walking and then just kind of, like, just take a bend in the path. And there's there's plenty of trees and woods around here. All right. So now that they don't, <clears throat> they can't see us anymore, we can just circle back around and, and get them, right? Uh, there was uh, like six of them. Yeah, but if ten. they're real small, eleven counting. There were ten. I thought there were five of them. There were five on either side oh. of him. So there's, there's eleven of them. There's, yes. There's, cold there's cold. a lot of them. Never mind that. I and, that. Uh, <laughs> the odds are not in our favor. I would the odds say. are not in our favor. Uh, let's let's head back into town. We can untie ourselves now. And let's take a moment oh, and mourn for Guillermo and Billy. Billy. Good men. We barely knew them. It's a good thing they were wearing red shirts. Oh, yeah. Guillermo and Billy. Guillermo and Billy. Set them up. Knock Knock them down. down. As the night goes on, sometimes we just toast impromptu. Impromptu toast. I just have to say, though, charismatically, of course, (laughs) that I said run into the mines. The only one who listened was Guillermo and Billy. And got killed. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it weren't a great plan. I was under the impression we were much closer to that cave entrance. You're so persuasive, you whispered, Virginia. You whispered to go into the mines? I didn't hear you. Oh, God. You know I got a bad ear. We can still hear you. Keep walking. <laughs> Stop listening. We're, we're trying to have a private conversation over here. You mind? I feel like I might be ex about to experience a tragic flaw, fall <laughs> from my heights Chat. due to wild incompetence of my men. Take your and headphones woman. off. Just take them off now. Seriously. Get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Throw them away. Right sell them on the eBay. Uh, you know, you'll know. You don't. Just Chat. I am a very loud person on the regular. Do we and still have our mule? I, I keep no. myself I keep myself on the down low every time I'm on stream, every single time. But I have to tell you, I am now seven <laughs> drinks into Dude, this. I got three sweating. more. I'm sweating like a pig. You are gonna want me to wash this before I return this to you, my friend. No, Nick, it's fine, I'll wash it. You know. Nick is basically uh, Superman, and he's been holding his punches <laughs> in terms of how loud he is. Oh. And on top of that, I am playing a character who is both hard of hearing and has big mouth. So, yes, I would so, definitely put this on speakers, headphones, earbuds. If you have sleeping children, uh, wake them. Um, <laughs> There's no sleeping maybe, in the Yeah, put them on a vacuum, and uh, are they colicky? That This might work. I don't put know. Them put them on a vacuum? Put them on the, I don't on know, on the computer. Either, but vacuum, sure. Yeah, if they're colicky. Like a Roomba? Put, put your them kid on, on a Roomba. Roomba? Yeah. <laughs> my, that's well, what my I, mom used to do oh, when I was... What? So anyway, <laughs> what? before we get too deep into <laughs> Dom's <laughs> childhood, <Sorry>. um, <laughs> you guys are heading back. You guys are heading back to town. Sh oh. Shadir Thorn. Thank you for the follow. Uh, sorry if we made fun of your name. It wasn't intentional. We're just Let's head to back to town. I You're will walk. Really gonna love this episode or really hate it? Either way, I'm sorry. Yeah. I will so. walk heroically in front in our of our retreat. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's establish just a basic marching order for you guys, just in general, that you tend to fall into. So Virginia leads. Uh, Joanna, are you right behind Virginia? I'll probably be, no, I'll probably even be in the back. You'll be, you'll be in the back keeping an eye out on things and drinking from your flask when you think no one yep. can see, but everyone knows. Virginia leads, I probably do machines. Um, <laughs> yep. Beecher is a party dude. Uh, <laughs> all right, you're, and then you're right behind Virginia, Alfred? Um, I, yeah, I'm second. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Yep. Standard marching order. All right, so you guys head back to town. Um, it's, it's not... Too, too far. You weren't that far off the main road uh, since Harris made sure that uh, the bulk of the roads went to his mines when they were being built, because why else would they go up north into the mountains here? I'm sorry, west into the mountains here. Um, so, you guys make it back to town. You're probably going to want to take this news to, uh, yeah, we're going to Harris. the Harris Mining Company we're office. Going straight to the Harris Mining Company. All right, so you guys march straight up there. Mm -hmm. uh, the town is uh, very small. There's some framed buildings, go some building frames going up, uh, a couple people in the street. Uh, down at the end of the street, you can see what looks like the uh, preacher having a very animated conversation with uh, two Indians, it looks like. Uh, and you guys are heading straight for Harris Mining? Yeah. Okay. So you all walk in the, uh, the front door. And uh, what was the name of the... Uh, oh, gosh. Um, it was I have it written down. I do, too. The secretary for Viola? Carlton Harris. Viola. I believe. Viola. Uh, she's sitting there. Oh, uh, Viola, we need to see Mr. Harris right toot sweet oh, immediately. Uh, m Mr. Harris is still. We uh, done got claim jumped. What do you say? I don't even know. It's, oh, no. it's not even claim jumped. We got hog walloped and, and hog top. I don't know words. Hog walloped and hog claim jumped. Hog walloped. We're. Hog waller. We got. <laughs> look, Guillermo's dead. And so is Billy. What? We ain't got Dave the Mill. But those two were very sweet people. They were the best. I can't believe They might have been my best friend. <laughs> I love them both so much what? like brothers. I have to say I'm kind of happy to end up with Dave the Mule. Ed the Mule was a bastard. Yeah, that, I that, mean, Dave the Mule was an ornery mule. I never but, much cared oh, for that mule. Son of a but Jenny. when he gave us service, it was, it was passable service. He didn't die, right? <laughs> well, no, but maybe. <laughs> Mr. Harris is still... Out, out of town on business, but uh, Mr. Driscoll's still running things. You can, you can. He's in the office if you want to. Like, All walk right, let's on go in. see Mr. Driscoll. I don't like that, Zachary. So you guys walk in uh, and find the very foppishly dressed Zachary Dris Driscoll sitting in Carlton Harris's chair with his feet up on the desk. 
Zachary. Taking the time to smoke a, a fine cigar. He would. <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, uh, Zachary. Uh, Virginia, what are you doing back here? We done got hogwaller. I don't think that's a word. You got what? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar Stop. with that color. Stop trying to hogwaller the word. A bunch of assholes. It's going to be a thing. It ain't a thing. I'm, I'm going to roll to make it a thing. Uh, with my, of, no, with this, my persuasion. This ain't roll for shoes. A um. bunch of assholes <laughs> took over your mind. And we couldn't Look. do anything about it. Wait, wait, wait. wait hold on. Guns. Hold up. What? Bunch of guys came and took over your damn mind. 11 they armed men. They had lots of guns. Vegans. You telling me? 11 armed Must men kicked us out of the mine. Killed Some guy named Guillermo and Billy. Col Holbrook? Stole our mule. Stole Dave the mule. That guy's an asshole. But though. killed no Guillermo and awesome. Billy. I think we could get another mule. Guillermo and Billy are Dave dead. Was kind of a Dave the mule was a passable mule. Look, it. Hold on, everyone. Stop I can't understand you when you're all Dave. talking at once. What? Now, everyone, hush up. I am loyal. Hush up, Beecher. Hush up. Oh, Virginia. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. Virginia. Yes. You're the foreman. I have told. What I happened? We got hot water. <laughs> that ain't we got a thing. Eleven men come up over the ridge with guns. They said, "Get out of here. Tell your boss Harris to either give us money to leave or come with a whole bunch of armed men and chase us off." And then they killed Guillermo and Billy, and they stole Dave the meal. <laughs> so you're telling me that this new perspective mind that Alfred assured us was going to be a very rich claim, was just taken over by a group of armed men? That is what yep. I'm telling you, sir. It will be. It will be very rich. Now, Stop it. Now, Mr. Harris, as you know, is away on business. And he left me in charge, and I was to oversee his operation and make sure that everything ran just so while he was gone. And, and Virginia, Virginia, I was against Mr. Harris giving you this claim in the first place, but you begged for it. You told us that you were good for it, and we had several people vouch for you. So Mr. Harris, out of the kindness of his heart, allowed you to be the foreman of the site. This is my rise to the great heights from which I will fall tragically. What are we supposed to do against 11 guns and a bunch of assholes? Yeah. What is she supposed to do? He Thank didn't you, give Joanna. us much protection. We, all right. I, we're just asking for more men and guns to go in there and, t and chase them off. We're here for for taking things out of the ground. We are not here for putting people in it. We well, bam! That was a good one. High five. Did you hear that? Well, I'm you glad you're all it? feeling very smiley and happy because I'm going to tell you right now, your jobs are all on the line here. Yeah. If we do not have this situation contained before Mr. Harris comes back, I will see to it that all of you are... Tragically fallen? Fired. Mm -hmm. And out of this town. You going to come help us then? My life is on the line. What? Why is your life more on the hold line? Hold on, hold on. Just everyone hush up. Let me think. All of our lives are on the line. I'm just saying that he's saying your job is on the line. My life is on the line. Beecher, I swear to God, hush up for a second and just let me think, all of you. All right. Now, of course, we didn't have an armed escort with you because Mr. Harris took the bulk of the men with him. Mm. All right, listen. There's a... Uh, the, uh, the Saddle Burr, are you familiar with that bar in town? Yes. Yep. Well, of I course. mean, I don't always go there pulling often. Joanna out of there. Now, there's a number of rich, uh, not rich, quite the opposite, actually. Just uh, rough customers been hanging out around there lately. Maybe, maybe I give you a little bit of the emergency funds, and you go down there, see if you can't hire a few people to come back to the mine, make a show of force. Mm-hmm. See if you can't scare the, what was his name? Uh, Holbrook. Holbrook. Cody? Yeah, see if you can't scare this Cody Holbrook away from the mine. Or, if need be, fight for it. See, Virginia, you always said he was a son of a bitch, but he's a very reasonable man, oh like God. I always said. I call everyone a son of a bitch. It's a, a term of endearment. I call my fiance a son of a bitch. Make it's, a persuasion roll. It's kind of weird. It. <laughs> you and you're gonna, I'm going to play the hell out of these diss ads. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, very, that's a very good one. Oh, <laughs> that's a critical <laughs> failure. You're going to spend a piece of cursed Spanish gold Look to reroll that. You're dra draining me of cursed Spanish gold on this. Oh, boo-hoo. Uh. <laughs> Five. Five. Plus two. Plus two, Plus two which is your, all right. Well, Virginia is you be, one, I, I'm you are sure one you, to make up the odd I, I'm colorful sure you, phrase. You've seen my, my wedding invite say, get you sons of bitches <laughs> down this here wedding. It yeah. does. I, man, I had, to have, I had to talk to that printer. 
for like 20 minutes to explain to him that that was not an, an, an just, offensive thing. It was just the way that she speaks. I, I have been meaning to say I do mean to RSVP, but that is not no, what is important no. right now, Virginia. As long as you, you tell all, me if you got a plus one or not, that's the only thing I care about. Virginia, I was being facetious. Mm -hmm. You all need to get this situation mm -hmm. under control. So go down to the saddle berth, see who you can find, and let me know how much, and, and listen, I don't want you spending any more than, he goes and just opens up a drawer, pulls out a bunch of sheets of paper. Uh, no more than $100, all right, on, on anybody that you can bring up there to just get this Holbrook guy away. Yeah. Yep, yep, all right? Yep, 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 now you come back, I'll get you the money, and you make this problem go away, Virginia, all right? I'm holding you personally accountable for this. I'm holding myself more accountable than you're holding me accountable. I'm glad to hear that. Mr. Driscoll, just... Don't forget, what is when you it? RSVP, you got to choose whether it's chicken or fish that you want to eat. <laughs> that fish is being shipped in. It is real important for weddings. I, and I know that got it from all I, these guys. I'm just telling you because I forgot to put it Alfred? on mine and I got Alfred? Yeah. I'm feeling quite a headache coming on right now. And I'm going to need all of you to vacate this here office so I have a moment to just internalize what hey. is happening. Hey. Dirk Portley, oh, yeah. thank you for the donation. Side. Wait a minute. Dirk Wait a minute. Side. Who is that? Wait a minute. Who is that? I don't know. You said you couldn't be here. <gasps> and yet you're oh. on the internet. That's, that's Thank you for the donation. Work. We appreciate Thank it. Yes. That's yes. Jordan Fridgen, everybody. Okay. Jordan Fridgen. Tier 3 has been unlocked. What? Oh. Tier Son 3. Of a bitch. How many more of these shit do I have to do? A worsening curse. Oh, now this no. this is a permanent Wild Cards edition that you guys have unlocked, so thank you for that, guys. Wait, wait, you mean what? it affects these guys? It affects these the guys for, uh, from, from now until forever. Cursed Spanish gold cannot be spent to re-roll a critical fail. <gasps> only you. only oh. fate chips can be spent to re-roll okay. a critical right. fail. Right. Cursed Spanish Fair gold enough. cannot help you. The curse is a worsening. Uh, so thank you guys for unlocking that. It is. It is a much worse. Okay. And uh, we have a toast from Dirk Portley as well, so everyone raise a glass. Dirk Portley. <clears throat> toast to absent friends and making the reward level. Toast to, to absent, absent friends and making the reward level. level. Set them up. up. Knock them down. Billy and Guillermo. <laughs> God and to Billy and Guillermo, we'll throw that on there yeah. at the end. I'm going to pour one out for Billy and Guillermo. Billy and Guillermo were my <laughs> groomsmen. Oh. Yeah. Well, they were ushers. Could I, uh... <laughs> you barely knew their names. Can I get a uh, root beer? Billy, not so much. Billy, I always forget. But Guillermo, he's got a place in my heart. And a face that only a mother could love. Yeah. His but it doesn't matter. Love his face. He got a hog roller in his face. He's dead. All right, so okay. uh, Driscoll basically all but shouts you guys out of his office. All right, all right, all right. It is important about the chicken or the fish. Yeah. We're having it chipped in. Son of a bitch, Beecher, just get <laughs> out. I appreciate your commitment to the chicken and the fish. That is a I big deal. I know how important it is to you it's and Frederick. It's so important to me and Frederick. And it costs a lot to get that in from that Colorado with in the that ice and everything. Mm -hmm. Colorado Keep that fish, fish fresh. Colorado All that fresh fish. trout? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're shipping <laughs> fresh trout. Good thing we're in Colorado. It's not that one. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but it's up from Boulder Creek. It's not like that's going to survive all by itself. So all right, it's true. let's get over to this bar. All right, Joanna. I like that. What? <laughs> I would like you to keep your hands up like this the whole time we're in I the bar. I can do that just fine. <laughs> this would not... <laughs> I'll let you get away with it. Oh, uh, you're great, Virginia. <laughs> Even though I probably shouldn't. Yeah. You know I probably <sighs> But you boys, no drinking. Focus. I don't Joanna. Normally... I have affection for you. I Let's go back to the No drinking. <laughs> Alright. So you all head over to the saddle burr. Uh, it's got a fresh coat of paint on the outside, and you hear uh, the strains of uh, off key piano music coming from inside. Paint or just Shitty whitewash. It's shitty whitewash, yeah. but it's fresh. All right. And uh, yeah, there's actually a, a, a fair amount of people in here, uh, seeing as how it's the only bar in town. Uh, there's that new saloon that's being built down on Main Street. But uh, man, that turned off again, didn't it? Didn't it? What a jerk. There we go. Dave. And you see uh, an old ratty piano in the corner and an equally ratty piano player playing it. And you see- uh, That's Guillermo's brother. The, bar, the barkeep behind the behind the counter, just perpetually polishing the same dirty glass with the same dirty It doesn't red. get any cleaner. It doesn't. I'll is head own, to the bar. Is my old friend Reddy, Eddie Redhand at the bar? Why, yes, it is Eddie Redhand. 
That's his name, Eddie Redhand. Well, you know, it's a trail name. He keeps getting caught. Red-handed. <laughs> yep. And that's hey. where we get the phrase. And Beecher. Historical fact. Beecher. Hey. Hey, Eddie. He's characteristically talkative. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm really glad to see you here today. Yeah. We have a uh, we have a situation might call for some of your uh, unique talents. My unique talents. Mm-hmm. Beecher, I done told you. <laughs> I'm retired from that life. I am a respectable gentleman now. Look, I done hired a piano player. Really oh. classes up the joint. Sounds like he just took a break though. So. Uh... Well, he takes frequent breaks. He's an artiste. <laughs> they are notoriously fickle people. Ah, uh, yeah, from back east. Yeah, I heard about them artistes. No, he's from back east. He just he insists that we all refer to him as such. He's oh, all right. Can I get a bottle of whiskey? No, you cannot. She cannot have a bottle of whiskey. You just said my, she shouldn't drink. Uh, I know. Can I, I get... can't say no to you, Joanna. You know my uh, future uh, sister oh, Virginia, thank you. right? <laughs> of course I know Virginia. Wait, am I... Is she allowed she... to... I cannot. I cannot. I was say under no the impression her. that you, your crew, was working today. We are. Well, we were under that impression as well. But some son of a bitch named Colt Holbrook <laughs> has been causing some problems up by the strike. Everyone, make a notice roll for me, except for Beecher. Beecher, you are in deep in conversation you and bet. also not super observant. Yeah. <laughs> On so account drunk. of your hard of hearing. Oh. 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 A critical oh. fail. What is a critical fail for notice? Well, let's find out. Okay, I'll oh, leave. No. I guess I have to leave it unless I want to <laughs> use five. Five? Just pour me another. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Another critical fail. Plus two one. though. Plus two? Uh, yeah. It's still a, that... you still rolled a critical fail. Okay, wow. Alright, so here's what happened. Nice unlock, chat. Jeez. What did you roll what did you roll to me? I got a five. A five. Okay. I noticed. So they you cannot... do. So what happens? Uh, as Beecher is talking to Eddie Red Hand behind the bar, you're kind of scoping out the place, looking to see if you can see anybody that might make a good, intimidating hired gun for you. Uh, Joanna, meanwhile, very excited to get this uh, this whiskey going, just <laughs> drops. <laughs> Super excited. Pours pours a double shot <laughs> and just out. tries to uh, tries to take it. Takes it very quickly and slams the that? the glass yeah. down. Uh, a fair amount was remaining in the glass, though, and it sprays up Here, into both Alfred and Joanna's eyes. Oh, God! <laughs> and this Sorry about that. is very potent bottom shelf whiskey. Oh, sure. Ah. And it burns like a mother. You guys have a minus one to all sight related rolls <laughs> for the rest of the game session. Oh. On account of. For the of, rest of the game? For the rest of the game <laughs> session. Burning eyes. On account of the. <laughs> That's, Most likely, that was strong. yeah, yeah. You oh, got Joanna, fire eyes. I shouldn't have let you have that. However, oh, while Beecher is talking, it. I to Eddie, can't. I can't deny you nothing. And while this farce is happening, <laughs> you notice a uh, a man sitting in the corner, I do dressed know. all in black, with a bandana covering his face, with his feet covering up on the his table. Face in the doors. Yeah, that is weird stuff. And as Beecher is loudly shouting his uh, his oh, uh, business with with Eddie. He kind of takes his feet off the table and just sort of puts an elbow on the table and leans in a bit. All right, so uh, I I am gonna leave these clowns to like three months to just uh, do their thing. Okay. And I'm gonna try to regain my dignity on the way over. I'm straighten my cl my 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 jacket and I'm gonna. Uh, sit down and chair. You're walking over to the, uh, to the black. To the man in black. Man in black. I'm gonna sit down in the chair at his table and say. <sighs> so Eddie, what I'm saying is, do you still do you still have any your uh, your old uh, gun skills or know anyone who might be able to lend us a hand out at that mine? Well, let me think here for a second, Beecher. There's probably a couple people that have been hanging around. Give me a second to think. He just sort of stops and just stares off into the middle distance for a bit. What were you saying, Virginia? I'm going to sit down at his table and straighten up and say, Stranger, uh, you seemed uh, awfully interested when uh, a certain name came up. You are disconcerting, sir. <laughs> disconcerting. His eyes are very intense, yeah. and it is impossible to tell his age. Us. I think I did that, yeah. He's not, he's actually not drinking. All right. He's just sitting here. There's in, a straw that goes up underneath. He's sitting here in the corner. Uh, and he just has a coin that is just kind of oh. laying back and forth between his fingers. Do you do sleight and of hand just, magic, sir? He's just watching. Uh, 
are you uh, <laughs> are you He's interested in uh, Mr. Holbrook in some fashion? Are you for him or against him? Okay, how about this? You nod at me slightly like this if you are for him. He cocks an eyebrow at you. You nod at me like this slightly if you're against him. He looks you, at you questioningly and then uh, just sort of shakes his head. Was that a nod? Right. Uh, well, we have a problem. Back at the bar. Yeah, damn it, Eddie. Beecher. Sorry, just came to me. There's a fella. Mm -hmm. What's been coming in here a lot lately? You could probably see him over there in the corner, dressed all in black. Oh, that guy over there in black? He got the bandana up on his face? Uh huh. He's the one. Nobody knows his name. Comes in here all the time. We've taken to just calling him the Bandana Man. <laughs> oh, the Bandana Man. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't say hardly anything at all. Hey, hey Virginia. Just sits and oh, stares. Oh, you're, you're oh our, you're Virginia's talking, talking to him. him. Oh, well, you should probably head on over there. Yeah, talk yeah. To him. And then I tell you, Beecher. On account of our rich history, vibrant, mm -hmm. colorful history together. Whatever it is you need help with, sight unseen, sound unheard, I will help you out with it. You just let me know when, and I'll, I'll be there. Well, thank you, Eddie. I, 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 I truly appreciate all that. Are your eyes okay? Oh, uh, you don't want to get any of this whiskey just in fine. your eyes. I don't know that they will be, They're actually. Be great. Don't you worry about it, Alfred. I think it's some of that uh, Doc's ethanol. <laughs> it's just one more thing. <laughs> Oh. oh, can I go over to the piano and just kind of like slam my hand on the piano and be like, hey, anybody who wants to make a little bit of oh money God. should come and talk to Virginia here. No, don't. Do okay, that. so uh, that's one yeah, way of doing that's it. absolutely what should uh, happen right here in this bar. Oh, Joanna. Come on down. So everyone gets to <laughs> totally quiet. my affection for you. Everyone gets totally quiet. Oh, I quiet. can't be mad at you for long. <laughs> I know you can. And they all kind of just stare Damn. over. I mean, they've been casting side eyes at Beecher, but they're used to seeing Beecher in here. He comes in here to hang out with his friend, and he's very loud. They're used to it. But at that, they all stop and kind of look over. And you see a, a scraggly bearded older gentleman say, <laughs> what, are you, what, are you to, what are you proposing? Well, you have a gun? Yeah, I got a gun. Can you shoot with it? Uh, sure as my name is Death Bullet, I can. Oh, you want to make some money, Death? I am always up for making money, little miss. Well, then you should go talk to Virginia. Don't send him to me. All right, well, I'm in the middle boys, of I'm going to head over to this no. lady's table God. and see if I can procure us a, a little bit of business. I'm having a oh. Now, you pieces of shit, you just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> you stay here. That's right, you pieces of shit. It's just... Just think about what it is you've done earlier. You know what you did. I lean over. Duff Bullet. I think that's uh, old Doc Bullet's uh, uh, grand grandson. The great grandson. Great grandson. Who invented bullets? Invented the bullet. Wow. We want him on our side. My reputation <laughs> precedes me. I see. All right. And he just kind of saunters no. over to Virginia. No, no. So you're kind He's of a lot older trying to start yeah. a, uh, okay. a conversation uh, with the bandana man, and okay. Duff just puts his gun down on the table and says, oh. "Listen, I heard you're paying good. Listen." I heard you're paying good money for people what knows how to use one of these. We sure are. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, hey, uh, you know what? I, but I we would, are. We, no, I'll, Virginia, I'll talk. you know, you know that Dude. Cole Holbrook has taken over that mine. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. We got about hundred dollars in order to be able to hire people. Hold oh, up, hold shit. up. You say Cole Holbrook? I sure did. Boys, never mind. Go back to playing cards. We're out of this. Well, you know what? What, what, what are you what? talking about? Oh, God. You don't know Cole Holbrook? I know this son of a bitch. You won't let us go work on our, you know, our, 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 our normal eight, eight to five. That a fact. How'd yeah. he go about causing that situation for you, Beecher? Well, he had a bunch of sons of bitches there reporting guns at us. Yeah. Shot Billy and Guillermo. Cole Holbrook. I heard, I've done heard about him. He's making a name for himself in this area. Wiley as a fox. Prepared for everything. No, he's a dumb son of a bitch who just sits up on top of mine. Ain't what I heard, Beecher. I'm gonna go back That's over here. That's what I just saw. All right, Beecher, listen. I know a piece of shit when I see one, <laughs> all right? And I ain't even seen Colt Holbrook, but I know he ain't no piece of shit, all right? Now, these guys over here, these pieces of shit. You are. Don't you look at me like that. You are. You know it. All right. Now, I'm gonna go back over there and play. Don't you want to earn some money? Not like that. He's just a man. Ain't worth our lives. Okay. Uh, 
If you're as good at that gun as you say you are. Well, I guess I ain't, Beecher. And I, I have made my peace with that. Now, boys, deal them up. And he goes and sits back down at the table. Everyone else goes back to their business, too. All you hearing. sons of bitches in here are chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with Beecher. All right, all right, everybody outside. All of y'all outside. I'm taking this with What are you talking, Virginia? I uh, I'm just trying to help get us to get some gun hands to come on out and get out to the I, mine. What I need more than anything is less of your help right now and more of you being outside. Just for a moment. Just less of my moment. help? That ain't what you said when you were talking about the wedding planning. I've been sending out invitations, licking those envelopes and everything for you. I appreciate you. it. And well, that's what family does for family. You know what yeah. else family does for family? Shut up. Damn. Let me just talk. Yeah, let me point. just talk. Let me just. I, 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 Frederick, I, I, maybe I, making a mess. Let me know if you need me to hit. Freaking me. shrew I'll hair. Be I don't even know. I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate it. And I'll wander All outside. outside. <laughs> okay. Noisy bitches. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Man in Black, for the nonsense that just <laughs> happened. <laughs> I know that we come off as a rather discombobulated group with no real merits to recommend us. But, sir, if you are willing to help us with this Colt Holbrook situation we are in, we will give you that full hundred dollars. You seem, I may be misjudging this, but you seem real quiet and vicious like, and uh, you seem like the exact kind of person. He cocks an eyebrow, and means. he continues to uh, move the coin or on, his, a... on his hand. But before you even have a chance to finish your sentence, he has his gun up in his other hand from beneath the table and pointed over at you. Shit. And then just sort of spins it sideways and lays it flat on the table. And then... That's hard to do. Just gives you a nod and kind of looks at you questioningly. I think you're supposed to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fianced uh, Mr. Mm. Man in Black. Or I would kiss you for sure. <laughs> uh, so I, I assume that we have your help? Is there any, oh God, I wasn't asking a question. He did not answer a question. Well, I appreciate it. He's pretty good at yes or no. Yes or no, okay. Uh, do you need us to get anything else to help you? Or you seem like maybe you could just take them all on your own. Awesome. You want us to back you up? You want us to get more people to back you up? Oh, okay. good. Uh, <laughs> you need $50 for this job? You need $100 for this job? Damn, man, all right. Sir, we are uh, much obliged, and <laughs> we will meet you here in an hour. Wonderful. We'll go, we're going to go get some more things to support you in this endeavor. No, nope, we're not. We're going to get our own guns? Maybe a mule. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> you know my mules. <laughs> my bad. Uh, would you like to come to a wedding? It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> and he just he just breaks eye contact with you and takes his gun and reholsters it and just sort of like tips his hat his hat down. All right, down thank and... you, sir. And uh, I stand up. I go outside. Okay, good guys. All right, get a lot of people. I got one you... that is worth. What? People. You got one person for us? There we need a whole posse. Well, general. you got Eddie Redhands. Oh, I know. <laughs> we almost had Duff, but then that guy's a jerk, I guess. But this guy, this guy is worth seven duffs. He took, pulled out a gun, spun it around, and like spun it and laid it down on the side. I can spin a gun. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's what she meant, Alfred. I, okay. It's good, good job though. Good job. Alfred, Been working on that one. It's good. Looks good. Uh, he, uh, so he, we're gonna meet him here in an hour to go take on Cole Holbrook. So I'm assuming we all need to go right, Wills. Uh, it, so five people will. against eleven. I still don't like those odds. I'd, um, it's six. I think six. Six? Yeah. Was oh, your friend going to help us? Oh too? yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's a he's a gun hand from way back. Oh okay. Well, cool. Well, we got <laughs> it's no more a money. Word I, cool's I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Better well, than hogs waller. <laughs> hog waller is a great word. And it's gonna catch on. It is the theme it of my ain't wedding. It's gonna catch on. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I told, you, for you. I told you if it's a hog wallop wedding, no one's gonna know what the hell that means. He's right. Yeah, and yet, I got lots of uh, RSVPs that say, I cannot wait to hog wallop. You know how cool oh. hog wallop is? Not very cool. God damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Not in my book, no man. Here's the important thing I have already promised our full $100. To that man in black who spins oh. his gun. Hey, that man, 
He better be able to get rid he of all of them. He spun a gun. I told you that. I Duff have a good feeling sort of did that. He did like a, you know, thing. Hey, hey, Joanna. I'm just expressing. What is Thanks. happening here is that I have a great deal of confidence in you and your abilities. That man who don't talk and bartender can never cleans the glass. You're right about that. I'm pretty I've got good. I've got a demolition. I got the best demolition man in Colorado. Damn. And straight. I got a nerd that can nerd a nerd. He's I am a not very afraid. Good She's nerd. right. It's quite good. <laughs> I am not afraid of nothing. He's the chief nerd. Yeah. Chief nerd. I'm also the only, only nerd. nerd. Yep. <laughs> there it is. All the nerds. You telling me you we have cannot a strap take on your pince nose? Yeah. <laughs> we can't take eleven uneducated, uncouth, all smaller pieces of shit. I don't believe that wait, for wait, a wait. second. Are, I'm gonna persuade. Are they all getting married? We can't persuade <laughs> them. <laughs> you just you I'm just do it as you know you just do it. No one's getting married but me. I'm a little unclear because if it's a hogwaller many, hogwaller but, but then all many? these guys are hogwaller. There are well, many meanings. They all get wedding too. We, so yeah, before so, we get too deep oh. into the etymology of hogwaller peen and who and who may not be hogwaller <laughs> in what situations, I assume you guys head back to Driscoll to get the money from him. Yes. Yeah. And then return to uh, procure uh, the aid of. The bandana man and uh, the bandana man and Eddie Redhands. Banana Eddie Redhands. Uh, we also like Driscoll told us to, like throw down our guns, but I my Holbrook gun did. is Holbrook. Sorry, yeah, you guys never did that, and he was fine with it. He just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, he my... more wanted to show you that he could shoot you all to death if he wanted to. Yeah, you can keep it. Yeah. So I also like my weapon is a is a shotgun, so I don't even think I had it in our whole tying up to go into the cave. Thing. Probably not. I, I would imagine in that instance, the only one of you who was armed was probably Joanna because she I'm is always armed. And she's you know security. She's the person who's in charge of making sure no Different bandits meaning. sneak no, up on you and really, yeah. uh, and I don't know try okay. and jump your claim. So I, I acquire my single hmm, barrel shotgun. Yeah, you guys can probably return to uh, the the. Mining residents in the in the Harris camp and just get your stuff, whatever it is you might think you need. So any of the weapons that you have on your sheet, uh, those you probably have with you now. I unroll this bedroll that has this old gun in it. Well, your dad gave you this with a yeah. look of disappointment when you came of age. Careful with that. He had no other sons. Can you check if it's loaded? Yeah, maybe I should hold it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll give it to you when you need it. And, and you maybe grab your, your backup stash of dynamite. All right. Your good stuff. The stuff you stuff in stuff your pants. Stuff you should have used <laughs> earlier today. Is that the, uh, is that what's already marked on Yeah, here? that's what's already on your sheet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing by it's Frederick. It's company dynamite. All right. I'm going to swing by Frederick for some sweet nothings and to tell him that I might be getting shot later today, but the wedding's still on. Honey, you know I respect you. <laughs> and I know you are going to be the best Foreman that Mr. Harris has ever had under his employee. So you take this, you take care of the situation. Beecher's gonna help you out. He, Cause he's my brother. Yeah. Goddamn Frederick, have you seen my backup dynamite? Beecher, it's it's under your bed where it always is. What? Is, what? It it's better not have been moved. Beecher, why would anyone move your dynamite? Because it's dynamite. it's dynamite. You gotta keep your eye on it. It ain't going legs and walk. Goddamn it, Beecher. You. So Virginia. You, you. It's volatile is all I'm saying. I know it's volatile. It's dynamite, Beecher. Goddamn, I know you're an expert with oh. it, but everyone else knows a I, little I, bit I, about I, it. I found I'm it. I'm very much I looking found forward it. to the fish. Virginia, wait, now, I, isn't he on the list for the chicken? Virginia, you know I have no clue what your plan is for this. I don't understand how to read any of these lists you made. I don't understand what the categories are, but I love you. Virginia, I, can I fill this up here? I should say no, but I can't say no to you, Joanna. I know you can't. I will. No. We're keeping, listen. This I, is the alcohol for the wedding. There's this gonna is, be an open We are bar. keeping it in stock. So All you right. can show up then and, and have your fill. But until then, this is the good stuff. I'm and just gonna to go hang out in the kitchen then so you all can talk. Nope, you're gonna stay right here. In fact, they all need to leave, Joanna, right, Virginia? I got, I got a bottle else. for you. Thank you, Beecher. Beecher, you got your dynamite? You've been keeping under the bed in the in the what? house in the house we sleep in. 
because... Well, you don't live here yet, Virginia. I don't. I sleep very occasionally. That will be a no, I take naps. No, you do not. I know. We're all... Oh, I'm sorry. We are good this Christians in this household. We are? Yeah. Thank you, Beecher. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very we are. much. Yes, yes, we are, Frederick. Virginia, after the wedding, you may take as many naps here as you please. But until then, <laughs> we will maintain the Lord's yeah. purity. Absolutely. Sorry, Frederick, that I implied anything else. That I, is... I apparently Virginia, do not remember. you know that we move in here. I'm moving out. I Beecher's feel like she's napped over here before. I think maybe she That may. is a scurrilous lie, my friend. Anyway, Let's how did you hear that? that? Fun information. How did you hear that? All right. So, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so you guys head back to the saddle burn? Yes. Okay. Uh, Wait, we go get a, We get the hundred bucks. I thought you Both got that first guns. already. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, uh, while she does that, I'm going to go to the uh, general store and see if I can pick up some more dynamite. God. Uh, they do not sell at the general store. Uh, okay. They sell it, or at the mining. They might the mining have. Store? They might have some at the hardware store, but you would shop at the mining at the mining supply uh, because only Harris mining employees can can shop there. I'm gonna use the restroom. We're stopping by the saddle bar. What? Right. You're going back to the saddle <laughs> bar. Yeah. My nerd. All right, you're gonna buy some more dynamite. I am. Uh, how much dynamite would I'm you like good. to buy? Uh, I'm gonna buy. Um, how much? More deep. Uh, let's see how much. Oh, it was three dollars a stick. So I, I believe it is three dollars a stick. Uh, so I guess I will buy probably another four sticks. Another four sticks? All right. So mark it off your, your dinero there. You have 14 total sticks of dynamite now? I have I 14 like, total sticks of dynamite. I feel right. like the person who hired the Marx Brothers to do something. <laughs> Wait, no, wrong brothers. The Stooges? We are the not Stooges. in the saloon anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I feel like the person right. who hired the Stooges to, like, paint a, a, a room in my house. <laughs> and I occasionally come in and I'm like, Ah, plumbing is easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. All right. So, yeah. so you buy some dynamite. Yeah. Anyone else want to take care of anything before joke. you? I'm fine. No, yeah, you're good. I already did. You did. All right. You're well ensloshed. Um, and uh, you got all your stuff together. So you guys yep. are ready to head back to the saddle burr and recruit the bandana man. I really hope that this bandana and man lead, and lives and up to the hype that I created in my mind just by seeing him not talking. Don't forget to talk to my friend Eddie Redhands. He said he would do anything he could do to help. Let me know if you need my help there in that bar. Wait, I gotta go back in alone? We're They're meeting sorry. outside. Y'all made the contract with, with that bandana man. All right, I show up at the bar. It's, uh, it's we, uh, Eddie is in front shutting the door and shooing away the last of the bar flies. No, I told you I'm shutting it down because I am helping Beecher out with something. Now get out. It'll be open tomorrow. Oh, oh Eddie, good to see you. Uh, you seen uh, that gentleman, all in, that Mr. All in Black gentleman? Uh, no, he walked out of here a little ways back, but if if my experience with him has been any indication, I imagine he will just step out of some shadows along our path at some point. It's very upsetting. Oh, dear. Well, I'll try not to shoot him. Please, Joanna. I what? Mean, I, I just, if he jumps out at Joanna, us. Joanna, Joanna. Wait, who's, who's? I get who? the impression that would be a very bad idea. Who's jumping oh, out of who? No, okay. We're just going to walk. Towards the mine, and we're going to be joined. Huh? At some uh, juncture, we will be joined by a quiet man. Uh huh. In a banana. We <laughs> in I a banana. Do not think that that's a good idea. <laughs> well, he's banana man now. <laughs> banana Dan and his bandana band. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> All right. So Eddie says that, well, I got the place to all shut down. Um, so now what's, uh, Beecher, what's, what's, what's the idea here? We're going to go uh, kick out some, some claim jumpers? Yeah, we, we got a, uh, a whole pass on claim jumpers. They're led by some, uh, some bitch named Colt. And yeah. he said that he's oh, either going to... Oh, that Delph's always talking about. You get a gun? You got a gun? I always have my gun. You got gun. multiple guns? Oh, I just have the one. Can you spin it? Eddie, Eddie Apparently knows. that's all that's required. Of Eddie knows what he's doing. Eddie knows what he's doing. He's, he's oh. done a lot of rough, weird. He's done a lot of rough stuff in his life. He doesn't like to talk about that that uh, that that part oh. of his life anymore. I don't like to talk about that to, part. He just wants to go ahead and run his bar. But because we're such good compadres, he is going to help us out with this. That's the long and short of it, there, Beecher. Beecher got it in one. Wrath hounds, wrath. Thank Ooh. you for the follow. Thank you. Um, so you guys start heading back towards uh, towards the mining site. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, first of all, Joanna, stop spinning your gun. You know I forgive you anything, but I feel like you're gonna shoot me. Uh, I won't shoot you. You're my friend. But you're right. Uh, second. <laughs> there was of all, that one time. Uh, you're right. There as was. much as I want to heroically charge first into this foray, this farakas, this hog wallerfering, if you will. Uh, I won't. <laughs> Do you mean fracas? 
what I was going to say is, I feel like we need, might need some stealth, because even on our best day, there's six of us and 11 of us. I agree. Stealth is a wonderful idea for I us to use on this plan. I want a D6 on, in stealth. Please. Joanna has been drinking, uh, oh, not heavily, yeah. but throughout the day, and has just decided she's very stealthy. <laughs> I am the most stealthy of Virginia, you and know that. with the confidence of a uh, long-suffering alcoholic, <laughs> she actually becomes really a little bit stealthy. stealthier. Good, good use of card there. Well, maybe Joanne and I, because I'm small, we, we can get close and maybe get in an Are advantageous... Are you stealthy, nerd? Well, yeah. he, he has Are to be. Are you serious? Yeah. You're good. Well... You're deep. Are you stealthy? Sure. Are you not, stealthier than me? I'm not even Assuming slightly. I'm just making loud noises. Uh, <laughs> sure. I Beecher and Eddie will be talking. I think if we can get the jump on them, all the better. That's that is my thought <clears throat> as well. Where's the man? The bandana man. He's right beside you. Oh my god! <laughs> you have no idea <laughs> how long he's been from? here, but he's just been walking with you guys. <laughs> he just reaches over and just lowers your gun, Joanna. You're right, right. bandana Sorry. man. Uh, Mr. Man in Black, we was just discussing. Mr. Bandana? Discussing some kind Bandana? of. Uh, we're thinking Scott about it, Jim. Sneaking up on them. To hogwaller up on them. Uh, I think he likes the idea. He likes it. Okay. Well, Joanna here is sneaky because she's drunk and she thinks so. And Nerd here is sneaky because he I'm a nerd. gets to. Yeah, I've always little. had to hide from things. I'm not sneaky at all because my leadership. My leadership qualities stand out even when I'm trying to be sneaky. You're so too I'm too damn thinking, charismatic. I'm so Virginia. damn charismatic. It's that <gasps> smile. It's oh God, it's so bright. It's, I mean, somewhat, it's nice. It's somewhat <laughs> off-putting too. Oh, but, there's that. He sighs and looks uh, impatient and just starts <laughs> kind of looking around okay, at other all right. things. <laughs> My, so what I'm saying is, if you sneaky folk want to go off and flank the situation, me and the not so sneaky folk will lead straight in and give you an opportunity for some kind of sneak attack. Should we uh, see where they are first? Aren't they at the mine? We just I don't know. Let's I go see. Go are. sneak and see where they All are. All right, I'll sneak over All there. All right, so we're heading back to the mine, and you want uh, the bandana man will uh, will sneak as well. Uh, so the plan is for the three of them to sneak up and just kind of scout it out and see. So you guys see are going to sneak back to the tree line and where you can see the, the cave entrance or the mine entrance and mm -hmm. see if you can just see any sign of them still around there. Okay, cool. Let me draw two uh, fake chips for the bandana man, because he is a wild card. Woohoo! I hope the bandana man has some great Got a red and white. Nice. Nice. Okay, what did you roll there, Joanna? Uh, three. <laughs> three, all right. Spending a piece of cursed banished gold for that. Five. There's a five. Five, all right. We're rolling stealth? Yeah. Okay. Are we all sneaking up? Uh, just what? bandana man, Joanna, and... Uh, Alfred. All, uh, Alfred. Alfred. I, I keep wanting to say Ar Arnold. <laughs> like Ar Arnold, but wrong. Oh, oh, I don't know why. Oh, Arnold. Uh, uh, four. Four? Yeah. All right. And Bandana Man. Oh, I love, oh wow. I love Bandana Man. No. Well, I mean, you are you are paying him $100. He's going to. All right. He got a nine. Job. All right. So he just sort of like disappears into the foliage and wow, like he he's. He is good. With, go. Without a trace. There's no movement. He just is gone. Are we guys? Are we at the uh, mine site? Uh, you guys are heading back. They're they're heading up. They're sneaking up to the mine they're site to just up. sort of. Son of a bitch! We're staying way go? back. We are way yeah. back. We they, are way they far away. They may know you're way back. <laughs> We're way far away. Be Beecher, I mean no disrespect, but you know you are a loud son of a bitch. So we're <laughs> gonna stay back here with Virginia. True, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah, no disrespect. Y'all know me. All right, so you guys sneak up. Did you finish? You finished. Wow. I have, I have one more. I was oh. chilling. It. One more. Oh, chilling it. Chilling it. All right, so you guys sneak up, and you see uh, what looks like two of uh, Holbrook's men just sitting up on, on top of the mine, and they just kind of have their, uh, their guns uh, by their sides, and their feet are dangling over the side, and they're just sort of like looking around. These, these two seem to be the, uh, the lookouts, but that's all you can see. That's all we can see? Yeah. Just and you would, you would hesitate to get much closer since they do seem to be keeping an active eye out for everything. Well, if we could sneak up on those two and take them out silently, that'd probably be a good start. Make a notice roll for me. Hang on. Uh, you too, Alfred. At a minus one. Minus one. Oh yeah, minus one, because you have whiskey four. in your eye. If it's sight, <laughs> anyway. I think I see. You got a what? A four? A four. four? 
I also got a four. Ooh. Nice. Ace Mother's Mother. Is Who that is Bandana this? Man? Is this Bandana Man? What yeah, that's a 12. Nice. Is this Bandana Man? This is Bandana Man, yeah. Oh, he doesn't 17. have whiskey in his eyes. Well, it's a good, it's a good thing Bandana Man has the GM's dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, you guys are all sitting there. You two are sitting there kind of looking around. You have no idea where the Bandana Man is. And then he just kind of sticks his face in between the two of yours. God, you got to stop doing that shit. God. <laughs> and he just, he just kind of motions to you and points. And you see where he points just past the two sentries, kind of where the, the hill see. starts to dip back down. Thank you for the donation, Night Steed. Thank you, Night Steed. You Namaste. see from time to time just That's somebody's head come into view. Uh, like, just it, it looks like there's a few of the men just sort of like ambling around back behind uh, the top of the, the mine out on the, on the land on the other side. Uh, and they seem to not be very active. They seem to just be sort of like just milling doing whatever, around. just milling, milling around back there. So behind the lookouts? Behind the lookouts on, on the far side of the... Is this above the mine where they were before? Yes. Okay. But we couldn't see anybody down by the mine. Uh, no, there's nobody down by the mine. The only two people that you guys saw were the two sentries on top of the mine, but then it looks like from what the bandana man points out to you guys that, that the rest of the crew was back up there just sort of hang, hanging the out. The rest of them? Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's hard as to get a, a decent count, but there's a few, a good handful of them. Nightsteed has got a fistful of huh? cursed Spanish gold for the table. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Nightsteed. Hey, Nightsteed. Um, and he just looks at both of you and just motions back. I think he wants us to go back. <laughs> and then he's just gone. Where'd he go? I don't know. And then he's back. Oh, you're right. <laughs> then he's gone again. He's All right, so you guys, you guys head back over to uh, Virginia and Beecher. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I hire the crazy people? You didn't hire them. They came with the job. Dang it. I, Why did you were appointed I, their foreman. I was exactly probably hired before you. Asshole was. You need me around. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Quiet. Dang <laughs> it, Beecher. What'd you see? Well, Beecher and I have been discussing loudly the possibilities of what you might have seen. I believe yeah. that. Saying, let's Absolutely. move further away. <laughs> there were further away. two up on where they were before, up above the mine, as lookout, and then Bandana Man over here saw more behind him. But we didn't Mr. see anybody. Mr. Bandana Black, near, treat yeah. him with respect. He's Did I clearly <laughs> um, superior to all of us put together. Right. Uh, yeah, there, there's I forgive all you for everything, Joanne. Called. Thank you, Virginia. Do you, do you prefer Bandana Man, or do you prefer the man in black? Prefer well, it's Mr. Bandana Man. Bandana I Man. I, thank bandana you Man, thank you for the donation. I think it's Bandana Man. He, just he sighs again, he sighs again and just sort of, just sort of like looks uh, at the trees over there. He sees a bird and just starts looking at the bird. I imagine as Bandana Man donates, he just Bandana hands. Man just like throws you a coin. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, just shut up. Have some money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, right. uh, the out there mysterious stranger bandana man has activated a draw Woo! for Dom. Oh, Yo, Dom's up. Woo! So Alfred, Alfred, have you one of them? Draw one of these draws. This is it. This is the moment. Not that one. Ma talking that one. about. Mama said okay, that there be draws out there. There be draws out there. Mama said. <laughs> this Mama one again. Said, again. Uh, said. Shaking in their boots. Oh, good. Mm. Playing a combat situation, your character does or says something so horrific or intimidating. <laughs> That it brings the area to a standstill. I would love to hear what Alfred has to say. All of the characters, friend or foe, uh, are shaken. Friend and foe. It shakes oh, everybody. That's a good card. Me. All right. We don't heard that. Thank <laughs> you, Bandana Man. Thank you for that. All right. So, uh, Bandana Man, the, the in-game Bandana Man, just kind of just gets your attention for a second mm -hmm. and indicates very clearly using pantomime and, uh, and just gesture and eye, eye positioning um, that he thinks... He should walk out into the clearing while the rest of you approach from, from the side so that he can distract them and then you guys can launch an attack from, from their side where they won't be expected. But they'll all be shooting at you. All right, well, I, guess very, I would pay money to see that on a stage. That would yeah. be we are paying good. money for that. That's but, true. true. But, but, but it's we, not but on we stage. Also, no, not a stage. A stage would be, listen. All right. All right. We will do the bandana man's plan because he's clearly far more confident than any of us. Well, However, we better move quick and fast so that they don't shoot at him too long. Because <laughs> I suspect that if he dies, we're all going to die. Yeah, I, yeah. The, keeping the shooting time down to a minimum is probably a yeah, good yeah. idea. That's usually a good Do we all want to move all in one group or do we want to do no, like no, a no, 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 no,
Here's it. If the two sneaky ones will go first, I will follow behind. You will come way after. Now, uh -huh. now, hold on, hold on. I like what Beecher's saying. And he, he and I used to do things like this back in the day when we was uh, reappropriating people's cows. Uh, now, what we would Legitimate do, cattlemen yeah. is what I like to say. It's Legitimate what, cattlemen. It was a job we were hired to do. Uh -huh. Now, this is the pincher maneuver. It's what we call it. We would go around from one side while our friends would go around from the other side. Okay. So, okay. So I think, I think Beecher and I should maybe approach up from that side of the... Uh, now, now, Beecher... You still any good at climbing? Oh yeah. It looks like you and I could just climb up, climb up that that rock wall right there. Are you good at climbing? You said it real confident. Oh Beecher. yeah, I'm, I'm great at climbing. Well, all right, you got so all your dynamite. Make good use of it. We'll, I will. We'll head like around to that side. Get up on top, and then I can start chucking dynamite down on these guys. That sounds like a plan. All right, now, just now, not on us. And then no, no, no. You all so. see them trees up there? You could come around from the other side and, okay. and fire from the cover of the trees. Well, maybe. I'd like to get in close if I can. I really like to get my hands. Well, steady. Joanna, you, you do. Joanna, you do you. What? Well, I, I pretty much you only anything, got a hammer Please right do now, not so. get shot immediately. <laughs> well, it's much easier to not get shot if I would. Y'all hammer in the morning? Because it's it's nice. Let's go. You know I'm better with my hands. Bandana man has a squirrel just sitting on his hand <laughs> and he's just kind of regarding it. Did he? Dear heavens. Find that squirrel somewhere did it just show up? He just, just showed puts up. it back on a branch and it runs away. <laughs> I guess he's good with nature. Hey, let's get this plan in action before Mr. Man in Black or am I realizes shooting? that he should not be on our team. <laughs> or am I strangling? You're going to shoot. I promise you, Joanna, I promise you, there will come a time when you will get Good, strangled. Because I'm better with my hands. I Everybody knows that. Well, I have I, my gun back. All right, but if this is this. Did is you the load end, it for me? You point it this way. Uh -huh. Oh, God. All right? Yeah. So, <laughs> not at any of your right. friends. No, no. Oh, God. Okay, no, oh, God, no. Okay, you know what? Just no, 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 all Whatever. Right. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. So let's draw let's this go. out. Let's draw this out. Oh, we're all gonna die. <laughs> no, no, no. Drawn it out plenty. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we've got. Everyone's drawn, right? Cards are done. Yeah. Yeah. Path here. Oh, Joanna. And, you will uh, be the death of me. She's got a bunch of trees. Or she will save everyone's lives. In here. Or kill them all if she rolls. So you guys are back, kind of around here on this path. So put all of your yeah your characters over there, and then let's get uh, let's get let's see we'll make this this one will be Bandana Man, and uh, this one will be he's a lot brighter than Eddie. I had in my mind. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, and then these guys, uh, we'll say the mine entrance is over here, and there's just a big ridge here. Uh, so we got two guys up there on top of the ridge. Keeping an eye out. Ay, ay, ay. And the ridge continues down over Poor here. Man. And then this pile of cursed Spanish gold is the tree line up there. And then back over here, where Megan's playmat is, is where uh, you saw the heads of people milling about. Nice positioning. Thanks, thanks. I planned that out. All right. So Bandana Man's plan is just to go walk straight down there. Uh, at, at least as far as you guys can tell from what he was saying. He's going to draw their attention. And then Eddie and Beecher were talking about maybe going behind these trees over here and climbing up the ridge there. Yeah. And you guys might want to circle into around into the, tree, into the tree line up there. Into this cursed Spanish gold tree line? Into the cursed Spanish gold trees. Yeah. Done. And this is... Those uh, are trees as well. Trees, yeah. Okay. I just okay. didn't have a whole lot of time. No worries. All right. Um, uh, so you guys probably... If you, if you take your time... Uh, this is bad. Yeah. yeah. If you guys take the time, no, this is Bandana Man. Oh, that's Bandana Man. That, yeah. <laughs> Who are we? This is ban Bandana Man is the man in blue. Is this you? Close to yeah. back. All right, so if you guys take your time yeah. uh, going out over there, there's no need for you to make a stealth roll. You can get far enough out that you okay. can just kind of come around in Wait, through those trees. I'm here twice. Um, what's up? Oh, gosh. Oh, here, I'll, I'll switch. Oh, I was like, what did I? Here, here we go. Is that not you? No, that's not me. Okay, good. Now we're not confused. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you guys are going to have to... That's why to, you always paint your minis. <laughs> you guys are going to have to come over here. You're going to need to... Uh, you probably won't need to make a climb roll because you've got plenty of time to get up okay. to get up this ridge. But if you want to get any closer than that before Bandana Man comes up, you're going to have to make a stealth roll as well. Okay. All right. So... I think we'll wait, we'll wait for him to kind of 
call the uh, call Okay, the so he just stands there motionlessly as you guys are getting into position. And you guys can sort of catch glimpses of him from, from where you are. And he's just completely in the same position he was when you left. Is the squirrel back? No, the squirrel's gone. And uh, now that you guys are up here, you can actually see that the rest of the men are back there, just milling around on Megan's playmat. Jerks. Get off, of it. get off of it. Um, so yeah, there's eight of them just kind of like hanging out around camp, playing cards. Of course there's a nun. And Shooting the, the breeze. Yeah, Action Nun is there. Jackson. Action Jackson's there as well. Uh, oh, and his brother. Holbrook. And his brother, uh, Adventure Jackson. <laughs> and they're all just hanging out back there. Um, but they don't. They just have their guns nearby. They they don't like have those on them. Are those the two sisters? Everyone's in a Mexican yeah. standoff right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important. It's not important. Um, and then as soon as you guys get into position, Bandana Man just sort of looks up and just starts striding uh, down there. Oh, so he just walks in. All right. And all these right. guys. We already have our guns out and loaded, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I assume you guys are all prepped with, with yeah, everything yeah. that you have. Um, so he just kind of walks in there, and those two sentries kind of perk up, and they say, hey, hey, hey there, friend, hold up, hold up. And he stops down at the bottom and just sort of looks up at him. And they say, what, what are you doing here? What do you want? And he just sort of stares at him. And they say, what, what do you want? Just stares. And they're like, all right, hold on. <laughs> Fellas, come on over here. And uh, a couple of the, the guys come over, and they've got their guns, and they're just sort of looking down. They're like, all right, friend, I don't know what you think is going on here, but you are well and truly outnumbered, so you're going to want to just turn around and, and walk away, all right? And uh, Bandana Man kind of flits his eyes up to you guys, hidden shoot, in the, in the woods, and flits his, his, his shoulder yeah, yeah. Back, at, back at you guys. Time to shoot. And that there is probably of the signal. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we are in combat, and you guys Ooh. have the drop on all of these guys. Oh, good. So what that means, except for Bandana Man, he does not have the drop because he is just standing right there. Probably what that means is you're all going to start the combat on hold. Okay. Uh, and then you can choose at any time to come in. You're going to get a plus four to your attack and damage because they have yes. no idea that you are here, just for your first one. All right, so um, I'm... Just gonna go ahead and flip over all of your cards since it doesn't matter, but we'll just know that you have a 10, but you're on hold. You've got a queen, but you're on hold. Jack, and you're on hold. Five, you're on hold. And then I guess we should do one for Eddie, too. Uh, Eddie so will just act cool. on your card. Okay. Uh, and then the bandana man has Ooh. an ace of oh, diamonds. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. And, yeah, uh, he does. Those guys, oh. <laughs> I know, he draws from the deck like that. And then those guys up there have a seven oh. of diamonds. Oh. All right. So, uh, so the bandana man gives you guys the signal, but you guys are just a bit, like, you just kind of want to see what, what it is he does. And quick as a flash, he draws his gun and just fans the hammer up at each of those guys up on the ridge. Yeah, so yeah, he's going to make some shooting rolls at these guys. That's what, nice. done. That's wow. what, that's what you would have done? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. All right. He's so so cool, cool, cool. First, one's, first one's going at action none there. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that is not what I meant to roll. That is supposed to be a d6. Oh, it's a yeah. four. Wow. He does not have a, a wild. His wild die is not a d12. Here we go. That's still a five. He gets no penalty for uh, hip shooting, so that'll hit the nun there. Next shot's going a cowboy hat there next to the nun. That's a seven. Next one's going here at top hat McGuggins. That one is a miss. Um, yeah, he'll allow that. This one here at the guy who is looking behind him for some reason. <laughs> That's hey, a five, what? that'll hit. And this one here. Over here? Did you mean me? <laughs> that'll hit as well. All right, so he oh. hit all but the one in the middle. So now let's roll some damage. He's got one more shot, right? He does have one more shot, but he's keeping it, he's keeping it loaded up in the, in the chamber. I love him. Uh, well, I am fired. Yeah, no, he'll fire again. go back yeah. and fire at that guy, because it bothers him. He's OCD. <laughs> Got it. Okay, cool. So he's gonna roll. A, he's gonna make a damage roll against each one of these guys. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, Bandana Man is an NPC donated by hey, Bandana, Bandana Man Whoa. in the game. Oh so this is Bandana Man. Who really? knew? No relation. I didn't know. Here we go. So damage on action none there. I don't know about no relation. Could be oh, his oh, great, okay, so that's great, an eleven. I gotta tell grandfather. You. Okay, so action none is dead. Yes. <laughs> he drops her where she stands, so she's gone. Next one right there. No, no, no. That's a eight, nine. Uh, nine is a hit with a raise, so that guy is dropped. Oh, man. I love Bandana Man. 
Okay, that is, I mean, he's, he aced the damage, dead, yeah. but that guy is also dropped. Um, that is a five, so this guy is shaken. And that is a, six, six. Uh, well, sorry, that was actually a six, because it's plus one, so that's right. a seven, which is not a hit with the race, so that guy is also shaken. So he drops two of those guys and just sort of fires at the feet of the other two, so they jump up. And you can't tell for sure, but his eyes kind of crinkle up like he's grinning underneath his bandana. And then he just sort of turns and just melts back into the foliage here. Wait, go leave. Damn. I think oh, that was $100 well spent. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to disagree. Have right. you heard of ninjas? Uh, so what? That, <laughs> so that was Bandana Man. Now you guys are all on hold. Um, so these guys are going to go next unless, unless you they... choose to try and interrupt them. You're going to make an opposed agility roll to interrupt them. OK. Uh, uh, yeah. Is it just yeah, these I'm two guys? Oh, yeah. Those, it's it. those two, and then the five back oh, there. Oh, it is counting the five. Can yeah. we see okay. them? Yeah, you can see them. You can see them from here. And they are now, at the sound of the gunshot, they are like just scrambling for their weapons. Okay. All right, so Beecher's going to gonna try and interrupt right here. Great. All right, All right. Beecher. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, see if I can act before them. Okay. And then... So you're making an agility roll? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, four. Four? Okay. And they are... Just extras, so they do not get a wild die. Excuse me. But they no. got a five. Uh, right. So they will like, act before Beecher. But like, anyone else can try and interrupt at this point, too. You're going to try as well, Virginia? I'm going to try to interrupt them as well. Okay. And I guess, for simplicity's sake, we're just trying to beat a five there. I will well, also try and interrupt them. Okay, did anyone want to... You guys have a lot of Curse Spanish Gold on the table as well. You can use that to re-roll this if anybody wants to, or you can keep it. You going to try and re-roll it? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. That is a five. So you tie it. Um, so we'll say that you can you can act before then there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Joanna, you're going to interrupt their action. And then you got a four, so you're going to go after them. I'll try again. Okay. Mother. Oh, you lumbled it. Well, nope, 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 nope. Okay, nope, all right. Nope, so you're nope. going to go after them. Yep. Uh, and, you're, and you're waiting? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, Joanna, you got the higher roll, so you go first. Okay, I'm going to shoot this guy because he should be in my short, in my normal range. Do you want to Four, move five, up? Right six, now, he's going to have eight, some nine. tree cover from you. But oh, if you okay. move up just to the edge of that line of cursed like Spanish here? gold there, uh, you can just be one back. Like there? Yeah, there you go. You can shoot out, and you'll have some yes, coverage against him. I will do that. All right, take your shot. He is scrambling for his gun. They, they heard all these gunshots and saw three of their friends just get dropped. Five. Uh, five is enough to hit him. Is... Oh, yeah, plus four. Plus That's four. right, because you plus have the four. drop. Uh, right. So that is actually a hit with a raise. Yeah, so that means I add another d6. Uh-huh, and you're also going to add four to this damage as well, because you have the drop. Well, I had five, so I get a... Oh, yes. crap. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a triple ace on I damage. I the shit out of that Yeah, guy. that guy is like, Hold oh, on. I got to get what my gun. That? What's 18? 18. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. 24, 24, 27. That was a really good damage. Uh, come, wow. on. come on, come <laughs> on. That, that, that's not supposed to happen. Woo! Damn it, Dwight. Close enough. I think I... Overlord Putatis. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I think I killed all of them. Um, so... You, that guy's like, oh, oh no, they're getting him. And then you just blow his entire head off and his body just sort of slumps forward onto was the that ground. That was that guy there. And I'm just Bye standing next to you like. I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and are you staying there in the trees? Mm, well, let's see. I moved one, two. I mean, yeah, there's probably not any reason. Really yeah, I mean, you have some coverage that. there All in the right. trees. I guess what what's around here? Like, is this just open space? There's just kind of open space. Like tanks, over on over on the Back edge of the ridge there. Uh, there's, they just have their camp set up there. Oh, also, Chase it with a root beer. under R O F, I, I, I have one. Does that mean I have so that I can start drinking have, water? What's up? Does that mean I have to reload? No, no. That just that? means you can't fire more than one shot. Oh, okay, That's your rate okay. of fire. How how when do I have to reload on this? Uh, after six shots. It's a six shooter. Okay. All right. Hand in your card. All right, uh, Beecher, you were up next because you interrupted them. Yep. All right, so, and then Eddie's going to go on your on your turn as well. Right. So I'll control him. Just let me know what you want him to do. Eddie, cover me. All and right. We're both going to run six for our pace. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and he'll he'll keep up with you. He's got his gun out, and you just want him to uh, take a shot at any one of these guys? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, do you want him to do that first, or wait till you go? Have him go ahead and shoot, and then okay. I'll see how far I'm going to throw So he's going to take a shot at that two, guy there? dynamite. All right. He's going to shoot... That gentleman right there in the hat. 
He got a six. That's enough to shoot him. Uh, and he's going to do his damage. Nice. Ace that one. Ooh, nice. So that's seven plus... That's an eight, uh, which is not quite enough to do a hit with the raise, but he is for sure shaken. Uh, and then you have... Did you just throw in one stick of dynamite, or did you I'm bundle throwing, some up? I'm throwing two sticks of dynamite. Bundled up? Tied them up real quick. Okay, so that is still a small okay. burst, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should be able to hit both those I think you guys, can hit both those guys, for sure. Uh, at, uh, at medium range, because they're within eight. Okay. So that's minus, minus two. Minus two to your throwing roll. Okay. But you have a plus four. Okay. Oh, which I didn't factor in for... Um, so that was plus Maybe. four damage. And it would have been with a raise. So actually, hold on. Yeah. Uh, so that was actually, yeah. So he actually drops that guy. He totally drops him. Wow. So you could choose to throw it at these guys instead if you wanted. Then that's what I'm going to do. Okay. They are both already shaken, so they should be easy targets. So you, real quick, just light your two bundled sticks of dynamite and toss it over to them. And they're still reeling from the bandana man's assault. They're literally going like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh. Um, so that's a plus four. Minus, so, so a plus two functionally. Okay, so that would be five, which should be enough for throwing. Five will be, be enough for right throwing. Right? Yeah, you got him there. BSB right. Care! Thank you for the donation, BSB Care! Wow, where does and that... then that is uh, 3d6 damage. 3d6, all right. And they are shaken. Ooh, that looks like an, ooh, 12, double ace there? Races. Oh, yeah. 12, 17, 25. Wow. Yeah, you just, you annihilate those guys. It goes down right at their feet just as they're recovering, and they both take a second to look at it and look up at each other, and it just blows. And they are gone. They are annihilated. All right, hand in your card, Beecher. Woo-wee! Well done. That's how we used to do it back in the day. A, a, a uh, red hands? What? <laughs> All right, Um. so you can, or they're going to go now, unless yeah. you want to try and... Inter well, you already passed your chance to interrupt yeah. him. All right, so they're going to go. All right, so these guys grab uh, their guns, and they're just looking around. So they saw one shot come out of there from the trees. They have no idea what took down all those guys on the ridge, but they do see this guy over here throwing dynamite. So they're all going to turn. Let's see. Chat, by the way, killed all killed all uh, five. He's a hoss. That is disgusting. Action done <laughs> is going to take her gun. Uh, More money well spent. You guys did it. Uh, she thinks she's got a pretty good sight on you, so she's gonna take her gun right there, and she's gonna try and fire at you in the trees, Joanna. Oh, no. Oh, wait, hold on real quick, guys. We have a toast oh. from BSB Care. What? BSB Raise Care. your water bottles. No, that's fine. You can use that. Come on, you just drink, like, five Smirnoff ices. <laughs> uh, BSB Care would like us to toast. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've, I've been, been working, working on the railroad all the live long day. day. Set them up. Knock them down. And that unlocks the final reward tier for us tonight. What? So thank you very much, BSB Care. Dang. And that, uh, that toast was a reference to the name of that reward tier, which was Working on the Railroad. Oh. And that is something we will see happen in season two of Wild Cards. Son of a so thank you very much, BSB Care. Thank you guys you. are awesome, and thank you everyone else who donated. You guys are great. Back to the fight. All right, Action None is going to fire at you. No. You have some cover there in the trees. I'll block with my blast. Well, you're, uh, yeah, and the trees. Uh, <laughs> so she's at a minus two. Yeah. For, for yeah, she totally misses. You know what? I'm going to spend a piece of cursed Spanish gold, though, because where would I be without pieces of cursed Spanish Just gold? <laughs> That's even worse. I'm going to spend one more piece of cursed Spanish gold. Let's do it. That's the worst by far. <laughs> Why not? It's here. No. Yeah. Five. Uh, still still going to miss. All right, so she fires a shot at you, and then she just falls prone on the floor, goes down on her stomach, and just has her gun out and is keeping an eye on the tree line. Uh, because she's much harder to hit when she falls sure, prone sure. like that. Uh, these two, Action Jackson and Adventure Jackson, uh, <laughs> they see you and Eddie over there throwing dynamite and blowing up their friends, and they don't want to deal with whatever it was dropped everybody from down there, so they just turn, and they're each going to fire a shot at one of you. So Adventure Jackson's going to fire a shot at Eddie, Adventure Jackson, and he, his gun breaks. Because <laughs> it is a cheap, it is an El Cheapo gun. Man, these guys, Colt, spring for some good stuff for your gang members. Uh, Action Jackson's going to take a shot at you there, Beecher, and let's see, hold on. He's within his range, okay. Oh. And his gun breaks. Okay, hold on, I'm going to spend a piece of cursed Spanish gold. Adventure Jackson can have a broken wait, gun, but Action Jackson. Wait a minute, I thought that... 
Curse Spanish Gold couldn't be spent on a critical fail. I'm guessing it is a critical fail because he doesn't have a wild card. Yeah, you're right. However, I will spend a fate chip to reroll <laughs> that. Oh, he still misses. He still misses. He's not going to do it. But, but at least his gun doesn't break. Uh, and Sorry, then those guys are also, they see, man, they see the dynamite. So this guy's going to go over here, drop flat. Uh, and this guy's just going to rush you. He just starts screaming. He's like, there's no way they're going to blow themselves up. And he's just running at you. All right, that's their turn. All right, you are up next, Virginia, because you failed to interrupt, but you were going next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to shoot. Who are you shooting at? I'm going to shoot at none. Okay, so same deal. You're going to need to move up further into the tree line so that the... Uh, okay, and then she is actually at... A, you're at a minus two to hit her because she's prone on but the I'm ground. But I'm at the plus four. Yes, so you're at a plus two to hit her. Yeah, yeah. And that'll four do it. Two. That'll do it. It's not with a raise, but it is a hit. Okay. So what did this mean? Okay, so you're, what is, you're within close range, and you are using a single barrel shotgun. Yeah. So you are going to do 3d6 damage okay. to her. Plus four. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Um, because you did not interrupt her, you did not get the drop. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you didn't get a raise, so it's just regular damage? No, uh, right. did you no, hit? No, it's 3d6, but... Did you actually hit, though? We'll say you hit, because, yeah, oh, it's fine. But just roll, you're not going to add... Plus four to your damage. Okay. Uh, all right, but you did ace that. What's what's the what's the range? It's twelve. So yeah. she's within she's within oh, her really? close range. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's Single insane. barrel shotguns are ridiculous. Um, all right, so 10, 14, 16. Um, you you scatter shot her pieces all over the ground. She is scatter shotted. Okay. You got her. Good. All right, and then um, your shotgun is empty now, though. Right. You're gonna need to reroll uh, reload next turn. That will be my next turn. Hand in your card. You can also reload and choose to shoot. You're just at a minus two. Gotcha. All right, Alfred. Uh, by virtue of there being no people remaining. Well, there's that one guy, right? Well, yeah, but I meant no oh. no and cards no remaining in the oh, round. Uh -huh. It is you. It's your turn. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. Let's see. Is he? If I move up. Um. One, two, three, four, five. You're just coming out of the trees? Um, <laughs> Alfred! <laughs> hey! Alfred! Hey, you guys! I'll be, I'll be, right, is that still in the edge I'm of the gonna tree? Shoot. Uh, that is in front of the tree line. There, that is in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's an abstract, so you're good. Um, are you within uh, 12, 12 squares of that yeah, guy? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. One, two, three. Can someone move Dom's finger in the direction of. <laughs> three, four. Yeah, okay. he, is, he is within your short range. All right. As he is just running gun out at uh, yeah. Beecher and Eddie. Ah! <laughs> oh, is this you shouting? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. <laughs> that, is a, that is a miss. Okay. Albert. Okay. Unless you would like to re-roll it or add a d6 to it. Um. Or any of those things. Yeah, it's I'll all on the it. table for you, Alfred. I'll reroll it. The day is yours. All right. Curse Spanish Gold. Spinning it up. Nope. That is still okay. a miss. Wait, you can add a d6 to that. I, I'm not I'm not good at this stuff, so I yeah, I'm not gonna add, I'm not gonna take That's that. That's fine. Yeah. Alright, okay, so Alfred runs out screaming, and I'm just not, fires I'm not a the wild one that shot. <laughs> in a fight. It's probably intimidating though. I mean, yeah, this guy's I'm probably I'm sure this guy's like, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> what was what? Alfred, eight of clubs. He's confused by the 80s of action movie genre, and so he just runs out and goes, BAM! <laughs> Ace ah! of hearts. Sanchez! Ace of hearts for Virginia. You got a ten of spades there, Joanna. Beecher like, and Eddie get a king, king of diamonds. diamonds. Um, the bandana man got oh! a joke. Oh! The bandana man got a We all get You all get fake chips. Uh, Joker's uh, wild. Thanks, bandana man. You, you're great. You you're great at this. <laughs> there you go. Where did this amazing man in black bandana man come from? None know. None can tell. There we go. And uh, the rest of the crew. Oh, 
Oh. King of Spades. Ooh. Love it. Ethel. Probably not going to help him, though. Oh, okay. Although he is all the way down there. The, 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 is this guy it, was he no, running he's, away? He is prone. He's prone. He's prone. He just, he just dropped down. They spread out so they couldn't both get dynamited at the same time. Action and Adventure Jackson. Their mom did not raise a fool or two. Um, okay, so... Shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Bandana Man's going to hold, actually. He's just going to wait and see what's going on from here in the trees. Uh, so that's going to be, I believe... These two are going first. Yeah. Uh, so this oh, wait, and, nope. unless Bandana Man wants to go. Oh wait! Oh yeah! No, you got the ace. He just said he was holding. He's, he's holding. Oh, he can't really see super well from down here, so he's gonna sure. wait and see if anyone runs into view. All right, you're up first, Virginia. Uh, you got the ace of hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He 11. is just outside oh. of your short range, so you're gonna be at a, unless you move. Yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna go to shoot him. Okay. So are you reloading and shooting? Oh crap! I'm just gonna hide in the trees and reload. You can reload and shoot. You're you just, just at a minus two. two. A minus two? But you only gotta do a four. He's just running straight through the open, All right, right okay. at your pal Beecher. My pal Beecher! Your, your brother-in-law to be, yeah. Beecher. My brother-in-law. So brother maybe not pal. Would never forget me! <laughs> does she get a uh, wait, wait. Apocalypse World type bonus for the bond? <laughs> she does not, unfortunately. <laughs> it's more for flavor. I'm gonna All add right. a d6. You're adding a d6? He gets that, you know. Yeah. Okay. I know. All right. Hmm. But that's what you need. Yeah. It's a decent. All right. Shall so that'll do it. So let's see. That is, uh, yeah, that's able to raise. Mm -hmm. So roll. But it's minus two because I reloaded and did it. Oh, right. So, so no raise. Yep. Yeah. So just 3d6 damage. All you do is 3d6 damage. That's it with your shotgun. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. That is enough to shake him, though. Okay. So you, you no, just. damage. Break oh, your barrel and just fire a shell in there real quick, cock it back up and run out Bob and just sh Rick. shoot him. Uh, it doesn't really hit him, but he feels the shot go all around him and hears it, and he just kind of stops his charge and just sort of seizes up. So he is shaken. But he's also shaken by the fact that I'm screaming about the wedding, and he's confused. You're screaming about the wedding? He's super confused about You're that. Gonna ruin <laughs> Who the my hell? Wedding. What? No? Why? The special event of the year! All right, so he's going to try and unshake now. He super does not. Uh, and then Adventure Jackson sees what's going on, and he shouts out, I got you, brother! And he stands up, uh, and he is going to uh, fire a shot at Eddie. His gun broke. Which one? Oh, his gun did break, didn't it? Oh, man. Then he's going to have to run up. He's going to, so it was two squares to do that. He's going to run then and stab. So he's going to get a minus two if he can even make it over there. Okay, so three, let's see. Hold on, I'm going to have to move that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, he cannot quite make it. But he's gonna run over with his with his knife up anyways. He thinks he's gonna be effective. <laughs> uh, and uh, this one's this one's action. Uh, he's stunned. That was adventure. Yeah, yeah. He's shaken. He's not stunned. Shaken, I'm sorry. Uh, he is man. What is he gonna do? He's just gonna get right up in your faces. But he's, he's still trying to figure out where everyone's coming from, but he just doesn't want you to throw any more dynamite at him. So he's just like, they're not going to blow us up! <laughs> All right, that's them. Uh, you are up next, Beecher and Eddie. If I toss a stick of dynamite here, <laughs> uh -huh. will that hit both of them? Let's see. I, keep, I really need to print out these templates. I probably should have brought, brought some templates. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Here we go. We've got the small burst there. So we're just gonna, if you throw it there, I would say the only way to hit both of them is to also hit Eddie, because you'd have to center it there. You could, you could throw it like over there and hit one of them or over here and just hit him, but in order to hit both of them, Eddie would also have to be hit. Uh, but Eddie moves at the same time, right? That is correct. So he could move back? Eddie knows this, this is the old, the old one, two. The yep. old, the old dynamite <laughs> shuffle from back in the day. He just gives you a knowing wink and just takes a step back. All right, and then I think while he takes a step back, he probably is going to go ahead and take a shot at uh, the one with the gun. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where was he standing? Eddie was there. Ooh. Yeah. He oh, actually that, won't oh. be able to do that without getting. Uh, yeah, that's true. He was here, so yep. he would take a. Uh, a Why doesn't he just shoot at him and then see if he can step back? Yeah, let's do that. Oh well, because he is shaken though, actually, so he wouldn't be able to take a free attack anyways. So have him step back and take a shot. Be easier to hit. Mm. All right, going for a four. Going for a four. Oh, he aced it. Reroll that. It's a six plus oh. six. Okay, so it's a hit with a raise for Eddie. So he's gonna do extra damage here. 
Joanna, you've been hitting the sauce a little too hard over there? No, I'm good. Seven, eight. eight. That is not enough. But he was already shaken. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so he's down. He's out. He is done. Adventure goes action. No! Poor but Beecher, adventure. you got some dynamite. All right. And so then I will go ahead and toss now, a... You're going to be at a minus two to throw it since you're drawing it and throwing it on the same turn. Okay. Um, but you, you st I, I still, I believe in you. I believe in All you, right. Beecher. Is this another bundle of two? No, we're just gonna light one stick. Just one? Yeah, just one dude. We're gonna light one stick. All right. Uh, so that would be minus two. Be That's not enough. Three. You do have um, a red fate ship. You could add a d6 to it. Sure. Let's do that. Do it. Fortune favors one. the brave. So add that d6. All you need is a one. Seven. Excellent. Seven, so that's a hit. Not quite with a raise, but you're going to do dynamite damage, which is 2d6. Blow him up. Dynamite! Five. Five. Okay, so you just shake him. Uh, so you throw it up, but he's ready for it and just sort of like tries to jump flat again. Isn't quite fast enough and just gets knocked down to the ground by the concussive blast above his head and just gets the wind knocked out of him. Are you going to move at all, Beecher? Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand over him and uh, be ready for when he hops back up. Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, so next up, I think it's Joanna. Yeah. So if I'm running, I, I roll a die, right? But my pace is six. Yeah. So you roll your run die, and then you're gonna be at a minus two for any other action you want to take. Or you could just fire from medium range and just be at a minus two. It's anyways. not bad. I really want to like. Get you want to strangle someone. You yeah. want to knife him? I don't think No, I don't want to knife him. I want to strangle him with my bare hands. Oh, right. Yep. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'll just... Megan, move. everybody. <laughs> the Cold Water Creek Strangler. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six. So I can get here-ish. Um, right before we understood about serial killers. Yeah. <laughs> she well, just I kills people her. a lot in the same <laughs> manner. Nine. <laughs> I'll forgive her anything. <laughs> I can't, he's short range here if I shoot. All right, so, so you're shooting? Yes. All right. Uh, make sure I and he is not actually prone. He is, he is shaken. He's shaken, right. Ooh. That, that well, there's a miss. That's my wild eye. Oh, that's your wild eye? Okay, yes. good. <laughs> good, because if, I, can I, you I don't want to shoot I can re-roll that, right? You can, it is not a critical fail. That's better. Oh, there that'll go. do it. There you go. That'll hit. There you go. And he is shaken. Um, 2d6 plus one. That'll six, do it. Seven. That'll do it. So he's he's like, oh, dynamite! <laughs> and then you just come up and shoot him from behind. <laughs> Your dynamite fake out. Mm -hmm. And he is down. All right. Woohoo! Fight over. You guys good made Good job, everybody! Short work of these guys. Well, it's a good thing that Bandana Man took out five of them before. <laughs> right? <laughs> that was really I, wanna, I, I turned to thank Bandana Man, but he's he has melted into the woods. He's got his hundred bucks. Was he even there? Where'd that guy go? Did we dream that? That was, we might yeah, have. that was amazing. I didn't even have anything to drink, but my eyes don't work. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about the eyes. But, oh, yeah. yeah. I forgive you. You probably I mean, should have been, at, eyes, you probably should have been at a minus one to your shooting rolls as well, right. but you know what? I'm going to allow it. Because I done messed up. No, let's go back and fix it all. Uh. <laughs> let's redo all those combat rounds, everyone. Um, Boys and ladies, we better get in this mine real quick and see what's going on, because we may have taken care of these fellers and ladies. There's still that son of a bitch, Colt Holbrook. That's Colt Holbrook. At, he's going to just get more people and come back. Hey, hey, Exclamation point loud. Beecher, listen, I, I, I done did my part here, but from the way Duff was talking about that Colt Holbrook, I don't know that I want any part of this. And you know, I, understand, I got a business to run. I appreciate it. And a family, I yeah. hope, one day. You have a good one. <laughs> and uh, if you ever need any, uh, any uh, help with the explosives, you just let me know. I'll be happy to, to lend you a hand. Beecher, you know I know who to talk to if oh, I need absolutely. something blown up. You know, I, I've been talking to you about that new basement. I can absolutely clear out a basement I'm for good. you if you want to have that. I'm good. Foundation right. is solid. All so, right. uh, just think, let me know. Virginia, Joanna, Alfred. <laughs> and he heads back to town. Let's get in this cave real quick. All right. Oh, well, I want to make sure that the dynamite nope. hasn't unsettled anything. Nope. Uh, in, nope, we're going in. Before. If well, Cole Holbrook shows up and we're outside, he will shoot us dead. But what if he's inside that 
mine there. Did he strike you as the mining type? I don't know. Maybe he, he went said in he for was. some there cover. <laughs> He did say he was. I'll I, go in first, just to be sure. Well, Wait, hold on, because Alfred makes a good point, and I think it's something he would probably do, regardless of whether or not anyone else wants you to. You should probably inspect the mine entrance to make sure it's not going <laughs> to cave in behind you guys. So why don't you make a knowledge geology roll for me? Okay. You see how I went around. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Six. Uh, Eleven. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, uh, minus one? Minus one, yes, but, well, no, this is a knowledge roll. Uh, okay. It's an inspecting knowledge roll, but still, you're not going to get a minus one to this. Right, uh, so you take you take a look at it, but just, just from what you've seen, the dynamite blasts were further back there, and they weren't strong enough to crack uh, the the very solid mine Crazy. opening that you guys had already made. Okay. So you're feeling pretty confident How? that this will not cave in behind you guys. How's it look, Alfred? Hey, come on down, guys. I think it's good. Okay, let's be careful, but let's get in here fast, and I will go you're first. You're saying that our fight where we killed all the dudes ain't, ain't Dear gonna affect the mind? Shut up, Ooh. Bacher. He Bacher. got that big mouth, guys. Virginia, I am playing to my disheads. God damn it. You sure Joanna, you if you punch him in his fat mouth, oh, I'll oh, forgive you for him. Okay, well, uh, all right, but wait, did, did you want me to go in first? I have to go in first. It's my, I can it's punch my heroic. You. Hey, I know, but but as the foreman, all right, as no, the no, foreman, no, I won't challenge you. You can be right behind me. I'm just all right. I'll be heroic right is her hindrance. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and punch me, but wait until after the wedding. I want all them daguerreotypes to be showing me with my full normal face. That's right. true. I need all my daguerreotypes. Which reminds you, my wedding you, daguerreotypes are very. You really funny. need to put a deposit down on that daguerreotype guy. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> You forgot. I forgot, and there's I'm running out of time. He gets booked up fast. He does. There's he only the one daguerreotype guy this in the time, county. This time of year, hell Everyone's yeah, he getting knows. married, but my wedding has to be the social event of the year. Let's get in this game. So it's getting a bit later in the day at this point. Uh, <laughs> and that um, wedding inches ever closer. <laughs> <laughs> so you are walking into the cave. Yes, um, first. First. Yeah. And so we're doing the the marching order from last time. So you first, Joanna in the back. I've got to load my Me my second. shotgun and have it up. Your second. Case Holbrook is in there. And then Beecher, your third. All right. So uh, just go ahead and line you guys up. You don't need to go into the cave. We're not going to draw that out right now, just in case. But I just want to see where you're going. Okay. So you guys walk into the cave. Mm-hmm. Here we uh, stubborn. And before Walking you go, but I would have forgiven you. You would have because I forgive you everything. You guys it's head foolish. in a little bit. A mule nope. named Dave. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice, nice. And it wasn't a mining joke. It wasn't. <laughs> what? Virginia cautions you all to be quiet, and even Beecher, with his in his uh, <laughs> big mouthedness, <laughs> understands the importance yeah, of yeah, stealth yeah. at this point. <laughs> So you guys walk into the darkened cave, uh, and you can see the area that had been dug out already, uh, and it gets darker as you head to the back. Are there, are there mining hats around with candles on them? There are not. Why not that, but I'm pretty sure that in our packs we've got uh, lanterns, if, if y'all want to light a lantern. Yeah, yeah, let's light a lantern. Sure. All right, so Virginia would probably light one, I guess, because she's in the front there. So you pull, pull the lantern out of your pack and light it up. All right, so it is definitely dark in here, and... You can follow the, the part that's already been mined through back a little ways to where you guys had seen, uh, where Alfred was thinking there was another, a larger cavern uh, behind a rock wall. And you actually haven't had the chance to even investigate this thus far, but it looks like Alfred's suspicions were right. Uh, there's a bunch of rubble and dust and rocks and debris all over the place, but you did blow a sizable chunk in the wall, and there is a much darker cavern beyond. Uh, so you guys want to head through? You see yeah. anybody up there? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Let's be cautious. I, I want to see exactly what's Let's going on Let's cautiously go All right. in here. So you guys, I'm guessing at this point, are less I'm of a line and more of a cluster. How big of the how big of an opening is it? Uh, big? It's, it's a, yeah, this is the opening that beat your blue, I would like so it's, to it's large enough for two of you to walk across. Stick just my arm in. You know what? I'm going to hang that lantern on the end of my gun and stick it in. And as I'm going to walk right past that with the lantern. You dummy. <laughs> you dumbass. Get back here. All right, fine. I'm powerful curious about what's happened in this cavern. Oh, big dear Careful. God. Do you see the light? It's a bad sign. No, it's just darker in here. All right, so so Beecher comes stepping up right next to you. So you've got the lantern on the side of, on so your gun, and he just comes stepping up through. You mother... You son of a bitch! And you guys can see... You do not talk about Mama Culp about that way. You're about to get married to this Culp family. You know how I like to use the term son of a bitch for everything. <sighs> All right, I'll forgive you this I'll time. Hog waller people. But I just want to let you know that she is a fine, chaste woman. Everyone, make a notice roll for me. Dear God. 
the, the cave is not too big, uh, but it is, it, it, it feels like it just sort of is darker in here than it has any business being. What was your notice roll there, Joanna? Unbelievable. You are drunk. Is a sight or hearing? It's a sight. I was I wait for you too, but I'm gonna re-roll. Ooh, there ace. You, go. you aced it, and remember you have a minus one to this, Alfred. Yeah, uh, okay. 11 plus two, 13, minus one. Oh. All right, because uh, you're alert. Okay, yeah. so 12. Uh, four. 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 Okay, and then Joanna, you are looking looking I at. I forgive you. Thanks, Virginia. All right, so in so the dark, be quiet. no, no, <laughs> no one gets you nip from the flask. <laughs> That's true. You're taking advantage of the sudden darkness to just have a little little hair of the These dog. are not nips. <laughs> These are like well, you know, jokes. I need a little more. Um, and you guys uh, are kind of just looking around in here. This this cave, for whatever reason, even with the light of your lanterns, it just feels darker than it has any business to. And you, you kind of look up to see how tall it is, um, but it doesn't appear to be much, much taller than it was back there. Maybe maybe another five or six feet up to the ceiling. They're all looking around and casting their lantern light about. Uh, you catch sight of something on the far cave wall, though, that looks, uh, that looks odd to you. And going over to investigate, um, you see some sort of symbols have been scratched in the rock wall back here. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll trace my hand a little bit on the symbols. And Does this look like any sort of anything I've seen before? Uh, let's see. So they're still kind of looking around with their lantern, so you're just getting flashes of it okay. uh, just in passing, and you're trying to trace it. Make a common knowledge roll. Let's see. Where are you from, Alfred? Uh, Alfred's from... Uh, Missouri. Missouri? All right, with Joanna. Joanna is also from Missouri because oh, really? you guys grew okay. up together. Yeah. Um, Missouri. So make a common knowledge roll at a minus four Ooh. for me. That's just my smarts, right? Yet. This is just smarts minus four. My, You're pretty smart, though. Yeah. Lives in Missouri, so I can Not oh, that smart. Not that smart. <laughs> not when you roll a one smart. Ooh, wow. Uh, but uh, I'll re roll that. You're going to re roll? Yeah. Wasn't a critical failure, so you can do that. Whoa! Wow! Yikes! <laughs> you didn't even try. By the way, that was a ten and a six yeah. on both of those dice. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Ten and six. Twelve. Nine. nine. Minus two. Minus or two. Minus, I'm sorry, minus four, uh, which is still a five. Still five. Um, you are not entirely sure, but as you go up to uh, to trace on it, what you initially thought was sort of like chiseled or scratched into the rock appears to be painted on the rock. Uh, a little bit of old pigment just kind of crumbles away on your fingers. And just looking at it and looking at the pigment, this kind of reminds you of some uh, different Native American... Uh, Pictographs? Like, yeah, and, uh, and like rock and wall paintings mm -hmm. that you've seen before. But you can't tell like what tribe sure, or what yeah. this is all about. ooh -wee, look at the size of this cavern! Is it big? Beecher, hey, bring over I... that lantern. <laughs> uh, you got it. Hold on. You see this? This looks like some uh, some some Indian work. Just some scratching to me. What what all you see? Well, it looks like people have been in here before. Been it, but this has been buried all the way down in this mine. Do you see any sign that this is that there's any other entrance? So Joanna, where are you? Oh, well, I'm in the back. You're in the back, and uh, you walked over by the wall. Did yeah. you also walk over by the wall? I did not. Okay. So I I've sort of walked, maybe I've walked a, li like a little bit A little bit closer, direction. but he's got his lantern up. Looking at the stuff, she's looking over here. Will you two she's make drinking. an agility roll for she's me, please? She's over there drinking. Uh, who? Oh. You two. Agility? Oh, good. Agility. Agility is one of my best scores. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I can't imagine that that's <laughs> true. Oh, a four. four. It's a four and a four. <laughs> that's respectable. Uh, also a four. Wow. Okay. So uh, you guys are, are standing over there kind of inspecting the wall, and all of a sudden, oh, the rocks give out from beneath your feet and just fall down into a dark opening. You guys have just enough time to leap back uh, as they go point. just... <laughs> yeah, Saving no, your life. Da, 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 as they just go tumbling down into darkness, <sighs> and you hear them crash uh, a little ways after they disappear out of sight. So from your estimation, it's probably about 40 or so feet down oh. there. But the floor just kind of crumbles and leaves an, a gaping hole by the wall over here. Oh, woo! This ain't, this ain't we did good safe. enough to not take any damage. Yeah, you guys, didn't, you guys leapt back. Do we need to be careful of the floor in here? I'll look around the floor to see if the if there's more loose uh, areas or anything. Make a knowledge geology. Is the me. did the lantern go out or is the lantern? The lantern's the lantern's still up. All all, right. all that happened is. Um, 
you guys, um, the, the floor kind of fell out from beneath you guys, but okay. you were able to step back in time. Um, it looks like the rest of the floor is relatively sound. It's just that. Oh, uh, we, did, we didn't fall in. You I'm guys sorry, didn't fall I, in. I, I no, no. Yeah, yeah, you guys jumped back because you both made your agility rolls. Um, so it, it, it looks like just that area okay. had, had the weakened floor. Are you boys okay? It, 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 well, as, as okay as I've ever been, I guess. Uh, Did you see how that floor just fell right away? We could have fallen right in there. would have ruined my wedding. Uh, you damn straight it would have. I'm looking forward to that fish. <laughs> Anyways. You that that hole. Do you see anything in here? Well, I, All right, I I'll, can't. I creep up to the edge with the lantern, and I'll, I'll try to hang it down as low as I can. Okay. So you hang the lantern down, and it's just more darkness. The The range of light that this lantern casts can't quite pierce to the bottom of it. And this lantern, uh, it's a mining lantern. It's probably targetable. Um, but hooded? It, yeah, hooded lantern. It only gives you about maybe 20, 30 feet of, uh, of clear light, and okay. you can't see the bottom down through that. What did I, it say? I can't really tell uh, if there, what, what's down there. I don't even know really how far. I think, I think maybe 30, 40 feet. Well, Maybe more. we got the mine back, so I suppose we got to mine it, right? Do we have to go down there? Well, uh, it's real dark in here. We want to mine it if there's something to mine. No, it's it's what is night right now, right? No, it's just dark. Nerd. It's just very dark inside here. Okay. It's it's late late uh, late afternoon outside. Okay, Alfred, is any sign of uh, any, any mineable lower, metal in here? Y'all y'all want us to lower you down so you can take a survey? Yeah, Alfred, do you want to be dangled to... precariously on a rope down into this mysterious hole to see if there's any valuable metal down there? We might need to get a canary It's first. your job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I might need to get paid early this. <laughs> your mule's name was Dave. I know what I'm referring to. I know. <laughs> that Mr. Driscoll seemed like a mean son of a bitch, and if we don't check this out, he might get, uh, he may, he might get riled up. Look, well, here's the thing, boys. If there's something in here worth mining, we need to know about it. So when we go back... If that Holbrook fella shows up, we can tell Mr. Harris there's something worth fighting for. Otherwise, just go until Mr. Harris gets back. Well, you know what I meant. I know you. My I job. Know you know. I will dangle myself cautiously. Y'all want to dangle down the line? I will dangle. Okay. Dangle me. Well, you I think on Joanna that. and I can uh, go ahead and. and uh, can you help, dangle help me? You, you tug on that rope. You can't breathe anymore. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What did she say? You tug on the rope if you can't breathe anymore. <laughs> Foreman, Virginia, oh, you God. know. I you forgive know you. That That's that smart. Real ignorant thing. I've been to listening say. to Albert. <laughs> yeah. I've been listening. Listen, we've been in a lot of mines, and when you can't breathe anymore, <laughs> that's when you need to tug on a rope. I don't know how many times we have to keep telling you, <laughs> tug on the rope when you can't breathe. You have to tell me at least five times, so. That, the, that, that's what happened. So that for you, it should be no more than three. <coughs> if I tug Foreman. on the rope at all, or say any kind of noise, we'll like, you pull ain't me breathing. up. You pull me up. Okay. God damn it. So you guys head out to the front where the remains of your pulley system are there. They've been dismantled by, by uh, the gang members, but the rope is still there. And you bring it back in and tie it around. They're really uh, bad at mining. That's why <laughs> they, we really, have this they were holding it for ransom. Yeah. Uh, and you tie one end around Virginia, and then Joanna and Beecher are holding it and lowering her down into the hole. Mm -hmm. You know it. Okay. All right. And, and I'll just I'll just be like watch. I'll I'll be like watch out. Like I'll have a I'll have the lantern and just be like. Okay, I got my. Go so you're holding open. Beecher's lantern, and you have. I've got your a lantern. lantern. I've got my shotgun. The rope's going under my arms and tied off. Okay. So it's kind of uncomfortable. What the hell you need that shotgun for? What is down here? I don't know. Maybe it's bats. Probably Maybe ore. it's bats. Is ore going to attack you? I don't know, but Come I want to shoot. Come on, Virginia. We don't know where that Cody Holbrook is. I am. I need to be cautious. Well, he ain't going to be in the hole in the floor that we just created right now. Or is he? Or guys? is he? Maybe this was all his plan. Lower me, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys start lowering her down. So you've got your lantern train down there, and mm -hmm. you can also see her. So you're probably looking for the glint of any sort mm -hmm. of fundament in the walls. I'm gonna kind of uh, and you guys fundament. are just very carefully I'm lowering her down. I'm just saying, we got to get in here right now because a mine is a terrible thing to waste. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, he paid his tax, so you guys are good. Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> 
You didn't have that one at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to use it later. Okay. So you're lowering her down. Do we have to roll for this? Uh, no, there's two of you on the rope, and, and Virginia's just a normal sized person. So uh, <laughs> you're lowering her down. I'm actually, with, I'm actually a little lighter because I've been dieting for the spot. wedding. Sure. Yeah, I'm trying to fit into that dress. Um, she had that dress shipped all the way from San Francisco. This is echoing oh, all around you down in the hole. So <laughs> I think it's going to look great, Virginia. Ten, Thanks, Joanne. Ten feet. Beecher, I don't know about Joanne the rocks. Joanne is going to be my maid of honor, right? 20 I'm feet. Look great. You two. Oh, I'm excited about Both of you. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> 30 <laughs> feet. Alfred's right. And now you can actually see a glimpse down below of uh, what looks like some of the rocks that, that fell. And as you get lowered a little bit more, you can see there's ground about 50 feet down there. Uh, you can see, uh, which is getting to the end of the extent of this rope, uh, you can see the floor. So you get stopped, the rope runs out, and you're probably about mm, six, seven feet up above what looks like the floor down here. Is that a tug? Are you okay? No, I am. I ain't tugging. Can you breathe? I'm, I, I'm talking, ain't it's I? Important. Oh, God. Maybe it's your last breath. It's not. It's not my last breath. Got plenty more breath. I just want to check it. I want to make sure you make it that wedding. I will shoot each one of you individually when I get out of here. Not me, though, right? Not you, Joanne. I'll forgive you anything. Well, then we don't have that much of a, a incentive to pull you back up now, do we? It looks like there is a tunnel down here. So this seems to be some sort of opening. And Holy then you see, like, uh, it continues to go on I'm further into the dark. I'm being hot-wallered. What does that what? mean? Wait. <laughs> Is there dancing down there? I, I don't, don't understand. We don't know what's going to catch on. It's no, going to catch on. No, I chose the fish, not the hog. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not get that? So if you want, at I this got point, it, I got it. you could choose to release the rope and just drop the six or seven feet down there. But why would you? Then how would I get out? Well, I'm trapped here and well, I will miss my, my wedding. That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's just saying what you can do. So while they're shouting about hog wallerping and <laughs> wanting the fish, yeah. which I don't know if you guys know, but <laughs> Alfred wants the fish. Yeah, he bad. <laughs> I ain't never had fish before. <laughs> so, even though he lives near a creek. <laughs> he doesn't he know how to fish, he you guys. He's real bad at fishing. His mom yes. was very overprotective, and yeah. she was <coughs> sure he had allergies. Yeah, I, I... He very well might. So right. you release the I'm knot. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna release the knot. I'm gonna fall mind. and I'm gonna protect and the lantern and the gun. Yeah, because you were ready for it, you just drop down, uh, and it looks like there is a tunnel that just goes straight for a ways and opens up into some sort of cavern in front of you. There's a tunnel down here. I'm gonna go investigate it well, heroically. Oh shit! The rope oh. just <laughs> pulled off. Yeah, yeah. I don't say just anything. I just let myself back. go. You guys just go stumbling. You, you back. okay down there? Ben, oh, Ben, 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 Thank you, Ben. Uh, I go, my last breath. Oh, I'm I just see. kidding. I'm just kidding, uh, y'all. That's not funny, Virginia. <sighs> I forgive you for not appreciating my sense of humor, All Joanna. Right. All right. Guys, hey, y'all, there's a, there's some kind of tunnel here. I'm going to investigate. Should we send Alfred down? I mean, he's the one who's got to know what's in there. That's a good point. He's also the lightest. That's true. Send Alfred down. Alfred, there's like a seven-foot drop at the bottom. Brace yourself. That's like a 30-foot drop for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, all right. So you guys pull the rope up, tie it to Alfred, lower him down, and then you can release the knot down there at the bottom. Okay. Uh, you're not so small that you'll need to roll for falling damage from that, but you are a bit stunted. Uh, and you make it down. You kind of stumble and try not to twist yeah. your ankle. but I help him up. Yeah, Real dust nice yourself like off, and you're down there. Thank you. Alfred, what are you seeing down here? Uh, bandana Man would like to get a piece of cursed Spanish gold for the table. Uh, Thank you, Ben. Because you Ooh. called him out on making a mind pun. I called him out on making a mind pun. Brian called him out for making a mind pun. Oh, Chad. Nice. So this is his. Oh, everyone's uh, everyone's wait, paying wait, wait. the toll. In fairness, we do get to hear his mind pun. Oh, what is his mind pun? Uh, just tell it to us, Bandana Man. It'll be a minor affair. Oh! oh. Wait, right. is that about my wedding? Yes. Bastard. Okay. That is going to be the social event of the season. It was in reference to the stag egg. Oh. 
The party. Oh, the party, uh, yeah. like the bachelorette party? Right. Yeah. So anyways, you guys are down in the darkness Mark of a death in the tunnel. Oh dear God, it's just going to be all I love, liquor. I love that this prologue has mostly become about Virginia's <laughs> wedding, which is not at all what I promised the chat, but hey, you get what you pay for. Uh, <laughs> James, Rosaline, Gabriel, we were all called to this wedding. <laughs> we were supposed to all attend. You gave me this open end that she's going to be my sister-in-law. Yep, and here we are. <laughs> now, uh, so you, there's no going back. You and Alfred are down in here. Uh, so the tunnel probably goes about 15 feet, and it gets a little, uh, you have to stoop down does a little bit, tunnel, but Alfred doesn't. Alfred, does this tunnel look man-made to you? Or does uh, this look natural? Well, let me check. With your eye? Knowledge, knowledge geology. <laughs> Five. All right, so uh, this is actually a bit confusing to you because it looks, uh, it does not look natural, but it also does not look to have been made with any tools that you are familiar with. Okay. And it looks uh, like whatever made it, made it quite a long time ago. All right. Um, that's all you see. Yeah, uh, well, I don't rightly think I've ever seen anything like this before. It's 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 old. It's been cut out for a long time. And when I say cut out, something did this. I, not water. Not uh, not any tool I've ever seen. But I don't know what. It's creepy. Hair stand up on back of my neck, Alfred. Yeah. Am I gonna make it to my wedding? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can see about 15 feet down in the light of your lantern, you can see that this tunnel goes down a ways and then opens up into a larger room, but you can't make out much in there. Maybe we should get the other ones down here. All right, let's see. But how do we get back up? Well, if you... I mean, I'll let, I'll let you guys figure that out. I mean, they could tie, tie the, the rope, rope off. And, yeah. There we go. And, uh, hey. Any of you any good at climbing? Yeah. Yep. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. Nope. No, no, but for real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Joanna is. <laughs> Hey, uh, For real, real though. Y'all need to get yourself down here. Tie I have that a knowledge of geology, so I'm right. gonna with rocks too. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so you're gonna lower Beecher down. Sure. Okay. For this, make a strength roll for me. Um. Okay. And I won't have you modify it by all the alcohol you've been drinking. <laughs> oh. No. It makes me Whoa. stronger. Okay. Yeah. Apparently so she so. picks you up like a baby and ties <laughs> the rope around you. Are you ready, Beecher? It's <laughs> <Just> one-handed. <laughs> Woo! I got, yeah. It's just Starts like spooling this. you down into the hole, and you can also release the, the knot down there and oh, drop down. Oh, sleep, my little baby. <laughs> um, Joanna, you can tie this off uh, to uh, a stalag mite? On the ground? On the ground. Yes, a stalag mite in the cavern. However, the length of rope is going to end a little bit above 10 feet uh, before you get down there, so you're going to have to make an agility roll or to avoid falling damage when you drop down from the okay. end of the rope. Climbing All right, so up. first make a climbing roll to climb down the rope for me. Oh. oh. Joanna, you're good Bone at everything. Show. We just went offline. What? We just went offline. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dom? I just got a notification that says, like, do your thing, Dom. If anyone can see us, hang tight. We're having technical yeah. difficulties. If not, I'm talking to nobody. Thanks for the. We're good. We're back. Oh. Thanks, oh. Oh. Hey. Thank you for the follow. Oh, good night to films. That's definitely an okay. Okanavet Vetafilms? Okanavet Films. Okanavet Films. Okanavet. We're going with that. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Uh, so, okay. if you right. experienced a drop in picture uh, momentarily, we are back now. Thank you for your patience. I rolled a nine. Oh, you rolled for a climbing. nine to climb down the rope. Yes. So, uh, that is a success of the raise. You make it down the rope uh, plenty well. But mm -hmm. you get down to the bottom, and you're going to have to make an agility roll to uh, not take damage from dropping the rest of the way. What is a that? Three. It's a three? So that is a roll. failure. You gonna okay. Spending curse pain is cool. You sure you don't want to spend fate chips? Yeah, fate chips. I guess I could. Let yeah, me yeah, metagame this for you, because yeah, it's no, ten forty. I, I just thought of that myself. <laughs> yeah. There, there we go. go. Seven. Way better. All right, so you you jump down and, and manage to just sort of roll into it. And because you've been drinking so heavily, your body's all loosey-goosey. I'm not <laughs> tense at all. You do not tense up at all. In fact, you sort of roll expertly and then just sort of stay and on the ground. And then I take a drink. Take a drink and then stand oh, up. Oh, Joanna, I asked you to stop drinking. I did? Well, I forgive she you did. everything. She did. just stopped right now. Yeah. For a period of time, she, she had a drink stopped. and she stopped. All right, look, it's real creepy down here. It's all... 
try it real hard to be serious I, and I don't know if it's cautious. Creepy. I mean, it's just a tunnel. It's a mysterious f- tunnel cut by non-human hands. I, well, I, I never I, said it was non-human hands. I just I've never seen anything like it. Well, you said it ain't human. You're jumping to conclusions, boss. I am jumping from, to the conclusion of if people had did it, you'd have known it. Mm-hmm. I hogwallered you with logic. Let's go. Well. How would something have gotten down here to do all of this? Well, you know, these caves all go through everywhere. There could be another entrance on the other side of the mountain. Hey, Alfred, is, is there any of them uh, writings or anything like you found uh, up above? Well, I don't know. Bring that light over here. Nope. I'm getting the feeling that there ain't none. <laughs> this, this room seems to, I mean, even if there was, all of the debris and rocks from the floor collapsing above has kind of obscured everything in here. But if you guys are heading through the tunnel, yeah. if you duck down, except for Alfred, you don't have to duck down, uh, you guys can make it through the tunnel. And it comes out just after about 15 feet into a very large cavern. And the far end of this cavern, probably about uh, maybe 40 feet down, is a, what looks like a huge rock slide that uh, your guess would be is kind of obscuring some sort of giant opening. And this room is, nobody needs to make a notice roll for this, all of the walls are covered with those paintings. And then up at the top of the rock wall, there appear to be some very ancient wooden structures, uh, just small things that that are kind of secured to the wall. One is kind of stuck at the very top of the rock wall. They're all sort of all over the place there, however, you. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Make a notice roll for me. He's been drinking too. Yeah. Add a minus one because you still got cheap whiskey in your eyes. Sorry about that. Yeah. I forgive you. Thanks, Virginia. Uh, still four. Let's see. Uh, four. Six. You got more. Six. Yeah. All right. So as everyone's just kind of like taking this in, and and the the ceiling here is very high up. Like even even with the lanterns like held up high, you. Think you get the implication that they're, it's up there, but it's a big cavern. Shit. What kind of dynamite did that? As they are kind of waving their lanterns around, you keep catching uh, a glint of something in the wall over by the rock slide. Uh, whoa, 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 wait. Wait, wait, bring the bring the light back over this way. All right. What on is that? So you guys are heading over to the rock slide? Yeah. Joanna, where are you? Uh, I'm probably following them. Okay. Uh, so all four of you are heading over there. You are <laughs> following them. <laughs> uh, you guys head over there. Penny. And uh, once you get over closer, you can see it now. The, the source of it seems to be little flecks of things in the wall just at the edge of the, of the rock slide. Um, at first you thought it was silver, but when you get closer, it looks more like coal. Uh, but something seems a little bit off about it. Make a knowledge geology roll for me. Okay. Oh, you better know geology real well. I do. Oh, do, you do? Oh, yeah. Twelve. 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 Okay. Uh, minus one. No, not not for not this for one. Your eyes. Yeah. This is this is more about it's eyes. about the knowledge is about the feel of it, Alfred. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't need to see the gold to know there's gold in there. <laughs> so <laughs> you look at it and it looks like coal, uh, but there's these weird white streaks running through it. Mm. And though you have never seen it in person. This matches perfectly the descriptions you have read and heard of a ghost rock vein. But it looks like this is just the very outside edge of it. It looks like the rest of it continues past where the, the landslide of rocks is. Oh boy. Mr. Harris is going to be one this. What's it, Alfred? What is it? This, is there, a little, is there a little bit that I can hold up? No, no, no it's, 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 it's in, in the wall. In yeah. okay. This, my friends, is ghost rock. What? Say what? what? Ghost rock. Holy hell. <laughs> this is big news for you guys. You guys are going to get one hell of a finder's fee for finding this, because this is what Harris has been looking for the entire time he's been mining in these You're going to have the best wedding I you've mean, ever wanted. I might have you know two what? servants of fish. <laughs> <laughs> fish everyone for, could. Fish for everyone. Open bar for three days. Yes! <laughs> Yeah! You guys are celebrating and walking around in there. Everyone make a notice roll I for mean, me. I mean, I tried to keep it quiet, but that was it did work. Well, not me. <laughs> no, I <laughs> Notice roll. Uh, five. Five, all right. We're all making notice rolls? Notice rolls, everybody is. Nine. Nine. Joanna, you're at a minus one. Nope. On account of your bloodshot, cheap whiskey eyes. Four. Four, it still works. 
Uh, and you also got a four. All right, so you guys are, are celebrating. The lantern light's going everywhere, and you keep, all of you are, are doing that, but you all catch out of the corner of your eye uh, something that seems wrong by the tunnel entrance, and you, you all sort of stop as one and sort of look over there, and you see a dark figure standing in the tunnel. Oh, shit. And you all freeze. Bandana man, that you? Could be that Cody fella. <laughs> and it just vanishes from in front of your eyes. And the ground beneath your feet begins to tremble just a little bit. You all saw Let's that. Get right? out of here. Let's get yeah. out of here. Where are we going? A bunch of rocks and pebbles all around you, and they start to lift up from the ground, Holy and they shit. start to swirl around in some sort of whirlwind. So I don't think I drank that what much. What the hell is uh, that? Everyone, we are in uh, a combat of sorts. Oh my god. So uh, you guys are down. Let's say, well, here, we'll reappropriate this. This is the rock slide here. Uh, it goes all the way up here. There's some weird things sticking out of the rock slide that look like old wooden things. Uh, and then this is gone. Forget that. That's gone. Back over here, though, is the tunnel entrance. Uh, and you guys are all standing right around here. Uh, so this starts to happen, and this huge swirling area of rocks starts to fly around and buffet you guys. Oh, shit! Um, so, we're gonna draw initiative cards. <clears throat> Here we go. Alfred, ace Alfred. of clubs. Virginia, six of clubs. Six of spades for Joanna. King of clubs. And then this is for the giant swirling cloud of Whew. dead rocks. Uh, so moving through this, uh, it's really hard. There's rocks flying up all over the place and they're continuing to pick up speed. So as you move through, it's going to be difficult terrain. Every square that you move is going to count, cost you two squares of movement. Okay. Uh, Virginia, make a notice roll for me at a minus two. You're up first, right? Or no, no I'm sorry, Alfred is. Alfred, make a minus, uh, <laughs> a minus roll at a notice two. <laughs> a notice roll at a minus two. Okay. So you're effectively at a minus one. Yep. Uh, four. Okay, so you're getting turned around and these rocks are starting to like bash against you and everyone's getting confused and you're losing sight of everyone. But you do see some sort of strange glow coming from the top of the landslide over here. All right, so what are you gonna do? Uh, there, I don't know, there might be some daylight that's this way. I think we should go this way. And then I'm gonna try and start moving this So every way. square is two. Okay, so that's uh, one, two, three, four. That's uh, all you can move. That's it. Yeah, yeah, four, yeah. <laughs> so you're four just sort of like shoving through everyone, and they're oh, all yeah. confused. You, and you, you have reduced pace? He does. Yeah. He's small. Okay. All right. Just double check. Or you're your slow poke, actually. Hand in your card. All right. Um, next up is Beecher. Well, I know that uh, a lot of these sort of meteor meteorological phenomena are caused by things swirling around, and I know that if... Uh, uh, I had some sort of a counter force. I might be able to make it easier for us to move. Uh -oh. So I'd like to go ahead and make some kind of a maybe a knowledge explosives roll to know where I could play some dynamite to kind of ease our path up. Uh, mm -hmm. Where are you trying to go? Are you trying to follow Alfred, or are you trying to head back to the tunnel? Uh, I trust Alfred. He knows he he, he has brought us out of these uh, dangerous conditions more than once. Okay, uh, Pantana Man, thank, thank you for you. the donation. Woo! Thank you, sir. You are pretty sure with a large enough dynamite burst. Mm -hmm. Well, make your knowledge. Make your knowledge roll. All right. Make well, your let's go roll. ahead and take that out. And we'll give you a minus two since you are being buffeted by rocks. Sure. It's hard. It makes it hard to think. Mm. Hard to know. Hard to stroke your manful beard. <laughs> when you're all man hit with rocks. <laughs> There you go. Uh, that aces. Nice. Again. Twelve. He's thinking real hard. These rocks are helping. I think. Fourteen. <laughs> All right. And then minus whatever. I just imagine doing minus the so, homer. Um, you're pretty <laughs> sure with a large enough things. burst, you could disrupt the flow of this thing for just brief enough for you guys to run through it if you're heading up that way, or uh, same thing heading towards the tunnel. Uh, but you know you'd probably need about, you'd need enough dynamite to make a medium burst. So I think that's three, six, maybe four? Uh, however much you tell me. Uh, I think it's, I think it, we'll say it's four. We'll say it's four. It's a three. medium burst. All right, and Bandana Man has a fistful of cursed Spanish gold. Four on the oh, table. Really? Thank you, Bandana Man. Bandana Man. Get another pun. Yeah, I know, but I'm not going to say that. Yeah. You okay. got your pun. <laughs> uh, so can I, um, 
can I tie off four sticks and chuck it in the right place? Uh, you can tie off four sticks, and uh, you can light it and try and throw it, but you're going to be at a pretty heavy penalty if you try and do all that right now through the, the so wind the, of this rock the storm. So figuring it out cost me uh, That cost action. you a little time. Okay. Uh, pulling it out and bundling it. That's going to be uh, second <coughs> second action, and yeah. then third one throwing, throwing it, so it. I'd be at a minus four. Plus a minus two for the storm. So you're going to be at a minus six, all told, to try and do that all this turn. Or you can pull it out and just get it ready for next turn. Which technically would have affected that, that roll that I made for the figuring out. That's true. As well. So, um, but we'll give you that one for free because it's wild cards. Woo! Yeah, you never know what we're going to do. Wild cards. We'll Quite. do it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don. He had a high roll. He would have made it. Um, That's true. He would have. Out of, out of character here for a moment, how do you guys feel about me trying to make these uh, really do it. tough rolls? I mean, why not? Got a lot of cursed Spanish gold there. We do. And That's some fate chips. And, and it's 1050. So what's what's the worst that could happen? Please be careful. Please be careful. Thank you for the donation. So let's say, um, so can I bundle them together? Is that still gonna are you gonna make me roll for that? No, no, you can bundle that out. Okay. You're you're an explosive uh, demolition expert. This is a okay. practice move for you. So I'm at a minus four or minus six for the throwing? Uh minus six for the throwing. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna pull it out and kind of shuffle it all together, and you're just gonna try and toss it over here at the far end right, of the it. storm. Yep. To not hit Alfred. To not hit Alfred. But to blow. So if you let's see, well, that'd probably be about an area that big. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just try and disrupt everything here. Uh yeah, go for it. Minus six. Make your throw. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> let's uh, start with that. Okay. And remember, you have your personal curse Spanish gold I down do. there too. Uh, that's okay. probably not going to be enough. So you could add a d6 to it with, with the five yeah, with the there. That's true. Um, and then you if I do that, how does that affect future rolls if I continue to reroll? Uh, you can reroll the added d6 as well. Oh, well then. Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty good move. Great. So, extra so you six. had a five plus five, five. ten. So that'll be a four minus with your minus six. So that is a success. Nice. Yes. So you throw it over here, and it lights just in time. Uh, manages to avoid getting blown early and blowing Alfie up, uh, and blows a Alfie. brief hole of no air here. No one ever gave me a nickname before. I just did, Alfred. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna say you can't move on this turn as well. Sure. Um, all right. So hand in your card. Well done. Up next. Quick, guys, I, I can disrupt all these rocks. Let's go. The hell you just do? <laughs> Joanna. Oh, really quick. Joanna's up. Space right. before close. Good thing I'm not fast. <laughs> I'm a big damn hero. Yeah. Seems yeah. like y'all know what we need to do, so she'll just It's go. difficult terrain through here, but in front of Alfie, it is now clear terrain. So I can go one, two, and then this is clear? Uh, where are you? That's you? That's this one, way. two, uh, yeah, and then it's, it's clear in front Three. of there. Four, but over five. here, it becomes a rock slide going up, so you're going to have to... So I can to, get to here, basically. You can get to there easily, for sure. Sure. Um, now, do you want to try and look for what it was that Alfie was saying he saw? Yeah. Why am I calling you Alfie now all of a sudden? All right, know. make a notice roll for Alfie. me. Alfie. <laughs> five. Okay. But minus one, change right? your name to so Gordon? Four. Minus one, still four. That? All right, so four. as you're running through there trying to avoid the rocks, you look oh. up here and you see that these talismans up here seem to be glowing a little bit in the dark, but this one here stuck at the in the rock at the very top of it seems to be glowing the brightest. Okay. Uh, can I shoot at it? No. <laughs> Hand in your card. <laughs> Next turn, though. All right, what do you got, Virginia? Well... <coughs> I think I am. I'm here, so if I'm gonna go that way, it's what one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, mm -hmm. five, six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, uh, did you want to shout out anything about that to uh, everybody? I mean, I might be. I might say, Alfred, there's some things glowing on the wall. All right. Cool. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, you two are going to take some damage from these Tommy rocks. Uncle. What? I know. <laughs> Shocker. Five. Uh, so, what is your toughness? Five. Four. All right. So, you guys are shaken. You get you get hit by rocks and beat about the ow, face and ow, body, ow. Uh, and you guys are both shaken. Uh, so, we'll just 
set you down like that. And then uh, <laughs> this swirl of rocks begins to move, and it begins to follow the path that you two are taking. Oh, so it is now a jerk. covering this area. Rocks are smart. Uh, and the That's blown open life. part of it reforms. <laughs> Just keep <throwing> <laughs> How much dynamite you got? All right, Alfred. Eight of clubs. Oh Jack of spades. Two of hearts. Oh. King of hearts. And a two of diamonds. All right. Uh, I believe the king was up first. So, Beecher, you were shaken. So, the first thing you want to do is roll to unshake. Uh, is this Bandana Man or BSB Care that did this? Uh, Bandana Man. Okay. Really? Because BSB Care made the last donation. Oh. It's BSB Care. All right, BSB Care also got a piece of cursed Spanish gold for the table. Thank you, BSB Care. Vigor, right? Uh, it is a vigor roll. Oh, yes. vigor or spirit? I'm sorry, uh, spirit. Spirit to unshake. Same for me. There you go. Yeah. All right, you unshake. Woo! All right, so you are up, Beecher, and you can act normally this turn. All right, uh, I will um, pick me up and move. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prepare. Well, you're not down. You're just stunned. Yeah, you're, you're stunned. Sh you're standing. No, I know, but I don't move fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not gonna matter because I'm gonna blow another hole in that uh, in that uh, cover. All okay. right. In, in, in them rocks. Where are you trying to blow a hole? Uh, Over here, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Because it has to be a sizable enough burst to dis to uh, right. break through. It has to be for yeah. that I don't want to hit anybody. Right. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I wish I had like a howling wind sound, but uh, Wes, get on that. Uh, All right, there we go. Six. Okay. Nice. Well, 12. 14. You done do it like a champ. So oh. that one was just going to be at a minus four, I think, to do all of that. Unless are you are you you're not running this turn, right? You're just moving normally. Correct. I think you could still do it. You could run if you wanted to. You rolled really high, and we'll just we'll hand wave that. You decided that ahead of time, Beecher. Uh, well, sure. I think I need enough to to get through the the storm before it uh, reforms. Yeah, do it. Okay, so you blow it up. So one, two. Yeah. Three, four. Five yeah, and you can move normally this? there. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're good. Six, seven, uh, eight. Uh, well, once once you get to here, it's going to be difficult terrain to try and climb up that rock slide as well. Uh, so eight, nine. I guess that's about where I can get to. Okay. Um, so probably here. Okay. Then, I guess. And then uh, I shout out. Um, Come on, Alfred. Let's go. This is where I die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is Virginia. All right. So now you can also very clearly see those glowing things up there mm -hmm, at the top mm -hmm. as well. Well, I am heroic. You are. I am. So is this a climbing roll to reach there? It's not. It's just difficult terrain to just kind of like clamber up these. Okay. It's like talus, like loose, so, like, loose. so like, yeah, as you climb up, it's sliding back. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make a play for that center. Okay, so you're heading up to that one? Yeah, I'm heading up for that. Okay, so every every square is gonna cost you two. Uh, you can make a run roll to add to your movement. Yeah. Uh, what are you trying to, to do when you get I'm up there? Gonna, I'm gonna reach that talisman, and it looked like it was made of wood. Yeah. I'm gonna yank it out and break it. Okay, all right, so this, uh, yeah, so make your run roll, and then you're gonna be at a minus two to do that. Oh, if you can sorry. get up there. Okay, so five. five. So you got 11 all together, so you can move uh, five squares. This is me. Oh. One, two, three, wait. Is that here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And then, ten. yeah, it's, techni it's actually technically there, but you can get up there to it. Okay. So you get up there, uh, and you're going to try and pull it out of the ground. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you you just go clambering up that, and you can just feel the rocks like just flying around down there. You can hear Alfred going, "Ow, ow!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and you climb up it, and you go to grab it and pull it up out of the ground, but it doesn't budge. It's like it's completely. It might as well be another rock up there. But you still want to try and break it. You can still do that. Yeah. Uh, just make a fighting attack against it, uh, and it's going to be at a minus two because you were you ran. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm going to fight this thing. Fight it. 
It's time for me to fight this thing. There you go. Nice. Uh, so that's 11 minus 2. That's a 9. That'll hit. Roll your damage. This is just your strength. Strength. Bulger. All right, so you try and yank it out, and just it's not working, so, so you just rear back. Like two minutes to 11, so if you wanted to maybe... Can't re-roll damage. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. I make that, I, I I make play, that mistake all the time. I play another game that, that does. Oh, you so. got blood and guts going, huh? Yeah. So you rear back, and you just fire a punch at it, and Ow. it's like it's made of stone. It just... It, Ow. it kind of resounds a little. It cracks a little under your force, but like you feel like you were my hurt hand. a lot more than it was. Ow, my wedding! All right, hand, in your, right hand in your card. <laughs> All right. Not the ring hand! You're up next, Alfred. You might want to roll to unshake. Or yeah. you could spend a fake shift to unshake automatically. We could have rolled and then seen a few. Doesn't matter, it's 1059. Yeah, yeah. These, these aren't going to stick around. Um, uh, all right, so I'm back up. And this is not ghost rock that's swirling around. It's, it's just, just regular old Regular rock. rock. Right. Hard, hurdy rock. Do just I know? Just swirling around. One, two, but then you're in clear area for a bit. Yeah. Right. You can basically <laughs> get to the bottom of the rock slide yeah. with your pace. Is your pace five? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Three, four, five. Yeah. You can get to the bottom of it. Um, you want to do that, Alfred? Yeah. Okay. So I'll move to the bottom here. Okay. Um, do, what do I know about Ghost Rock? What do you know about it? Yeah. It's very valuable. Mm -hmm. It burns for a lot longer than coal and a lot hotter. And you're very excited to have found it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know any dangers, though. Uh, none, none of it in its uh, like natural form. Right. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure about that. Uh, and, and, and Can he intimidate the <laughs> rocks one? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Uh, you goddamn rocks! You know, they call me the boy the earth speaks to. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, All right, what are you going to do, Alfred? Uh, I, uh, you can now also, since you first spotted that glow, you see Virginia up there, like, just trying. It looks like she's just trying to punch this wooden thing, and she's just and go, screaming in pain. My wedding! Uh, Ow! My wedding! <laughs> do, I, <laughs> do I see? Can I tell any, any bit about. These th these are just some weird. They look like just wooden structures yeah, things that, are that have glowing. been strapped together, and they're glowing faintly. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna call out and just be like, I, we might need to blow them. Those things weren't glowing when when we came in here, and they started glowing, and then this thing started happening. Then you have to duck to avoid a rock. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Rocks. <laughs> All right. Um, that really stings. Yeah. Hey. Hearts before diamonds. So you're up, Joanna. Uh, <clears throat> well, so that's the main, that's the biggest one, right? Mm -hmm. There are other ones that are glowing. Uh, yes. Right? Yeah. Can I, well, how, so I'm moving So on. you blew up the, you blew a hole in the, in the cyclone kind of yeah, over, over here. here. So if you move that way, then you're in the clear. But it's difficult well, terrain to move can, up can there. Can I get up to, and even this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be, y yeah. Yeah, that's true. I just get over there and, and I will try to like just I, I basically want to like kick it. You want to kick it? Yeah. Make a fighting attack. Fatigue. I, mm. I have a half hour oh. to rest. Ooh. Ace. I feel ashamed Seven. that Seven. I made that noise. Uh, you're fighting. Oh right, that was your wild die. Um, okay, uh, that's enough. Roll damage. Uh, this is my fist damage. Yeah. So this is strength plus d4 plus three. Uh, strength plus D four, yeah, plus three. Yeah, you're pretty good with your with your fists. Oh my god! Ordinarily, reroll that, reroll that, or add a D six uh, or some no, damage. That's damage. Oh, yeah. 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 You can add so a D six to that red three, one. So that's a six, six right? Six. Yeah. So you rear back again, much much like Virginia did, but you you make a very. Oh, but I got my foot. Yeah. It's oh yeah. Foot. Rear back with your foot, and you just kick it and snap it clean in half, uh, and as you do the. Cloud seems to shrink in size a bit. So I'm going to keep drawing with different <laughs> colors here. Now it's just this size, the green size. Did that do anything? Nope. Hand in your card. <laughs> Shit. All right. No one takes any damage, but it moves and seems to swirl up the side of oh, the landmass. Oh, dear land God. So now yep. you two are in there. All right. Here we go. Alfred. Six of diamonds, two of clubs for yeah, Virginia, Joker, Joker. four of clubs 
Joker. Jack of Hearts. Joker. And hold on. Joker. Not a Joker. Ten of Clubs. Mother. All right, you're up first, Beecher. Beecher. All right, Virginia, move on back. And I'm going to hold my action. I'm going to shout that out, but hold my action. Okay. All right, so flip your card over. All right, and now you two are going to take some damage. So that's Alfred and Beecher, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, two. Yay! All right, so the rocks fly around, but you guys uh, feel like it's not quite as powerful as it was before, so you're able to just sort it's of just shield yourself. It's just the baby rocks now. <laughs> that's right. what we call them. That's the official Is it? term. Is that one of them uh, scientific terms, baby rocks? Yes, it is, and I'll thank you to not question my chief <laughs> geologist. I just want to know, oh, Lee. I just want to know for future reference. That's all. This is the Bitch. one thing I now know. Now it is. Now it is covering all of you guys. Motherfucker. All right. Uh, next up is Alfred. All right, we can move through these baby rocks because they're babies. When, don't don't anyway. insult the rocks. The yeah. rock whirlwind, Alfred. <laughs> can this I roll you, Alfred? To That's Alfred. Can't you get out of the rocks that way, Alfred? It's true. It's <laughs> true. Up the other side. <laughs> yeah. Do um, it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. This is uh, one, two. Confuse the rocks. Three, four. So That's as far as more. I can. I, oh, oh, because I'm out now. Right. Yeah, I'm you're out. out. I know there's a bunch of consent, yeah. but this is the only circle you need to focus on. Right. This specific green circle. I don't have time. Me. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? Uh. N no, I don't think there's. Well, I could try and shoot the other one, I guess. This one? Yeah. Yeah. You actually have a relatively straight shot at that one, uh, since this has moved to kind of cover these guys. Mm -hmm. This one is peeking out of the edge of the swirling rocks. Okay, I'll try and shoot it. Do it. All right. Shoot! 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 Just remember, Do you're at a minus one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. You boned it. I'm gonna re-roll. <laughs> okay. Oops. No, it's fine. It's fine. I dropped it. It's fine. Give it to me. It's fine. Yeah. There you go. Aced it. All right. Uh, so that's a six. So let me. Oh, I'm gonna add a d6. Okay. So that's a ten. Ten. All right. So you see your bullet. As you fire it up there, it's almost as if it sort of slows a bit on its way towards the glowing rock, or the glowing wooden structure, but then it keeps going through and shoots it, so roll damage. You can see bullets? That's incredible! Normally can't, but it's slowed down. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah, you blow it up! <laughs> it gets blowed up! Uh, and as it does... So that one's crossed out, that one's crossed out. Again, this seems to shrink down. Wow. <laughs> I can't draw a perfect circle, but it's a small <laughs> circle like, covering yeah, yeah. you two guys. Me, thank you. <laughs> well done. All right. Next up is <laughs> stop shaking my hand. <laughs> me? Yeah. Uh okay. So I heard you yell that about this one. So hmm. have they okay. stopped glowing when they, when they're damaged? They yeah, they glowing? yeah. Is when it, they're when they're broken, they stop glowing immediately. Is it like can I hit it from where I'm standing? Uh, no, it's technically in this square so up here. So I could go one, two, but then I could go three, four, five, six if I wanted, right? Yeah. So I'm going to try that. Okay. Uh, and I'll God just try damn it. attack it again. All right. I know. With fighting. She's drunk. To a man with a bundle of dynamite. You <laughs> have to write every, every Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. You just told her to go away. That's, That's true. true. That's true. That is true. But this uh, is a fighting roll, and you're rolling a d8 instead of a d10. But I'm going to allow it because you aced it. Uh, so you got a 12. Was, you got a 12 on your lower die. I'm sorry. 12. Okay. I was thinking about drink. All right. So you hit it with a raise. Right. So roll I damage. you for your accidental cheating. Strength. It was actually worse. <laughs> so. Strength plus d4 plus d6 plus 3. You got dynamite strong hands. Add a d6 to that. Oh. So 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. All right. So you just you just Five. come s scrambling up, and uh, Virginia's like looking around because Beecher shouted out, get out of the way. Uh -huh. And you just come up <laughs> and just Spartan kick the yeah. thing with your boot. <laughs> ah! And, she, like, yells and it shatters. Uh, and instantly everything becomes quiet and all the rocks fall to the ground and just clatter down. And you see Beecher just standing there with a bundle of dynamite in his hand. He's about to light it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Shit, sorry, Beecher. Sorry. They're all oh, up there, but Alfred, Joanna. you Thanks. suddenly feel like someone is standing right behind you. 
Bandana man? And you turn around, <laughs> and it is not Bandana man. Dang it. You see what appears to be some sort of shadowy Native American warrior, and he just sort of is looking down at you, and he just kind of stares at you for a moment, and then fades away. And you guys are alone in this cavern. Great news, guys. Whatever that was, strange geological event, you were able to stop it. Perhaps it was the result of all this weird gas down here, but yeah. there doesn't seem to be any gas anymore. You guys are pretty well, sure that it's good. No more gas. Probably that whiskey. But you did find some ghost rock, and it looks like all you have to do is clear these rocks out of the way to follow that vein further into this cave. Driscoll and Harris are going to be mighty excited to hear this news. And that is where we will end it tonight. So... Thank you guys very much. Thank you for playing. We will be back next Friday Thank for the you. final epilogue episode where we see um, if Virginia, how Virginia's wedding goes. We it's mostly going to be wedding planning. Yeah. Um, or maybe it won't be. You'll have to tune in next week to find out. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your donations. Yeah, you guys, thank you. once Absolutely. again, unlock thank you very much. every reward here. You're amazing. That's awesome. Um, and before job, we head Jack. out, does anyone have anything that they want to uh, to pimp right now? You want to pimp anything? Joanna? Oh, uh, yeah. Megan? Things. Um, so we have our Alzheimer's um, marathon that is coming up in a little less than a month. And we are uh, doing an end ALZ wall. So that's the hashtag that you'll see with Alzheimer's Association where they ask you to share photos of your loved ones who have either um, succumbed to the disease or who have been diagnosed with it. And we want to do the same thing. We want to have a wall. So please send us loved ones, people you know, anybody you want to send. Send pictures to Megan at SavingThrowShow.com. Um, that's that's Megan with an H. H -A -N. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so please send those to us and we will start to compile those. Um, and then another thing, uh, tomorrow, well, today's Friday, yep, tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. for our Patreon backers, $5 and up, we have a uh, cast chat with the Phoenix Dung Command cast. So check in for that if you are a Patreon backer. Sweet. Those are the things I have. Yes. Uh, I've got nothing to pimp this week, so uh, please tune in to all of our shows and to our marathon when it happens, because we love it and we love you. We do. Talene. And Anything I, in particular? Um, my dog is peeing everywhere. Oh, no. So send me your good wishes so I don't murder her. Oh. Also, she does. Uh, she does this thing where she pees on the floor and then uses my clothing to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she's using tools, so yeah, no, that's, she's just like that's impressive. She's very, very scary, smart. But yeah. She's very smart, but what happens is I put clothes on and I go out the door and I'm like... Oh, I smell like dog. I am the pee person. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb? I can't do that. I, I ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing? No. All right. Just join us Join us tomorrow for Phoenix Dog Command and for the, uh, the Patreon Fireside Chat. There's going to be some interesting things to talk about. Yeehaw. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Brian, for running everything behind the cameras tonight. We yeah. appreciate it. And thank you, guys, thank you. you mysterious strangers in chat. We appreciate you. Turn in. Tune in. Don't turn in. Tune in next week for the final episode of Wild Cards for this season, where we find out what happens to all these guys in the town of Coldwater Creek with the discovery of this ghost oh. rock. Fred Who, thank you for the last minute follow. Thank you. We thank will leave you guys with some finger guns. <laughs> 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 <laughs>